campaign. Yeah. Lizen, Lemon, the Wizard Dragon, and Leiden. The, the level 20 Dragonborn Paladin. Yes. That I had have had um, influence on how he's done. Uh, also, notice Lemon's uh, level. Yes. She has a level. Are we yeah. supposed to know who these people are? Those are the dragons. Oh. Okay. So all dragons have a character sheet now. Yay. Boy. Yes. Layden, he just surpassed all. <laughs> you know, boy was, Shatana was in the lead on levels. Until uh, everybody died and Layden went on a 1,000 year journey with his papa. <laughs> he cheated. He cheated. He didn't cheat. He cheated. How could he cheat when they went on an adventure? He, he, went, he went on time travel. It doesn't count or work. Look, they didn't intentionally time, time travel, and if for some reason this po pocket watch had said 24 hours from when they left, they would have just returned home even if they hadn't found them. The only thing is, it never happened that way. <laughs> Oops. And when did they show up? The next day. <laughs> Oops. They have a thousand years... Um, yeah. So there, there you have it. Level 20, Paladin of Devotion. Yeah, he had, he had time. With some nice armor from Bahamut, if I may say so. I've made two new characters since Monday. So, so did I! I have an Eldritch Knight Fighter, Variant Human, and then a a gnome or a halfling monk. Astro self. That's good. You don't want to see my D Beyond character page. Yeah. By the way, I've 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 deleted characters from there, so <laughs> I always delete characters, but like the fighter is fully fleshed out, like backstory and everything. The monk is just his character sheet. I haven't figured out his story. Of all the characters on my roster, I have 57. I have like 13. Anyways. With their backgrounds and their ideas of what they would be and, you know. All right. Can we play some B&D? &D? Play some B&D. b and Hello. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Bears and Dragons, where a bunch of us nerdy ass bears sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. Sorry, just had to do that. Always gonna do that. Always gonna do that because I love Travis. He is daddy. Travis is daddy. Did you did you watch Doc's Machina? Uh, no. That that was the video link that I put in there from the stream of many eyes. Yeah, he, he wanted a bunch of uh, 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 big old massive dudes uh, uh, playing Dungeons and Dragons. There you have it. Him, Joe Ma Mangaleno, uh, Mangaleno, uh, Ma Ma him, uh, the guy who created Archon the Cruel. Yeah. By the way, he played Archon, uh, plays Archon the Cruel in that uh, session. Which is great, because this is right after the end of the campaign when Archon had shown up and stole the hand of Vecna from Vecna. <laughs> Poor Vecna. And, so, this was the first time that Grog, <laughs> Travis's, <laughs> Travis's character, had, had seen Archon since that event happened. <laughs> it's great. So close to uh, Ford becoming a paladin. I'm on episode 61. Oh, uh, yeah. Not on 69. All right. So, previously on Bears and Dragons, what happened previously on Bears and Dragons? I ask you guys. I don't, I, I don't like, I, I don't do the recaps. I just fill in the blanks. 
so I I do the recaps. Um, so our new our group of adventurers have been given some new quests. One is a diplomatic uh, mission for the Wizards of Day that um, we received a message that they want to parlay with us because they want to help us out due to the fact that the whole Cult of the Dragons thing isn't good for them either. And the Wizards, are um, some of our group members have dealt with in the past are actually like exiles from the main Wizards. So they... Like, hey, like, we don't want you to associate with us. Come talk to us. Maybe we can help you out. Our second mission was is a rescue mission. Um, a high member, a senior member of the Cult of the Dragons actually wants to defect um, from the cult and is bargaining us with uh, one of the dragon masks who is stuck in a wizard's tower with the rest of the cult members. So it's kind of a timed rescue mission because the longer he's with them, the more likely that it is for them to find out that he's trying to um, go AWOL. Uh, so our group talked it over a little bit, and we decided that the ambassador mission isn't really time sensitive, while this one is the um, getting the senior member of the cult is. So we are. We're on our way to help him. Once we got to the wizard's tower where he's located, thanks to a ancient black and gold dragon, uh, we got to a maze. There's a big maze in front of him that is enchanted somehow, some magical way that we have to go through the maze. We can't go above it or anything because that's what they try to do, and it just the maze went on forever once they got above it and into the maze and got try to go above it. So they've been, they've been trying, they've been going through it and came upon a pool where a squall took a gem and some crab people, uh, um, sorry, uh, decided to, or they, they popped up and they fought them and kicked their ass in the, uh, powers of faith. Yes, these oh. lovely people. Maybe some lobsters? Crab, mm -hmm. lobster, Cthulhu esque things. Just a little and, Zoy that's what it is. Zoidberg's ancestors. That's what we call them. Okay. Um and they popped up on Squall grabbed the gem because hey, it's a gem. He's, he likes the gem. He likes shiny things. Um and the Pyres of Faith kicked their asses. Barely suffered a scratch. Yeah. All right. So I believe you're still in the pool area. Yes, because we uh late uh boy just went down into the pool and got a bunch of loot. Yeah. Now, question. I know we got a, a elemental gem. Was that down in the water, or is that what was floating above the pool? That was in the water. We got a. Gem that was uh, floating uh, above the water was garnet. I wrote that down. Oh, a garnet gemstone. Mm hmm. I did write that down. Look at you, what Nevis. Type of, what type of leaves are these? Just Picky generic leaves. edge bushes. Yeah. <laughs> Catholic just goes over and they smell like plants. You uh, said that so enthusiastically. <laughs> I want to make they love smell like plants. plants. Jesus. Hey, you don't smell anything hinky. Oh, I was just trying to sniff some nature. Getting some nature in you. Get in there. Brown chick, brown cow? No. Anyways. little afterlife session he's been more into lights <laughs> and so you guys go out go this way. Yeah. all right uh, 
Guess guess what I'm asking for. I need a D8. Do it. I got it. Do it. You uh, want to no. do it, Keith? Keith doing it. Yep. Okay, I'll do it. D8. D8. Two. Okay, cool. Oh, a D6. Uh, D6. Yeah, that's right. Uh, two D6, I think. Do it. Squall two D6. Uh, six. Uh -huh. All right. So about a half a minute later, uh, you guys kind of show up. Uh, you feel like the you've walked this path before. Just uh, you, you kind of like turn some. You, you go into the, to the hedges and the path kind of winds around, turns it left, and about thirty seconds later, you end up here. Are the shadows still the same? Like, there's no shadows, or are there shadows now? So, uh, you examine the the sundial? Yes. Okay, so you see shadows, which is kind of like in an X shape. And they, all of a sudden, as you're watching, they start spinning and rotating around the sundial and spin faster and faster and start getting shorter until they shrink into the, uh, the, the, the nomen, the big... The thing that normally casts the shadow, casts the shadow for filling the time. Which is referred to as a nomen. G-N-O-M-O-N. -O -O so there's no shadow anymore. Cyrus goes, this is so annoying, and he flies over and uh, sits onto to the the naman, and all of a sudden he goes, <laughs> and he disappears inside. Uh -huh. <laughs> that that was an easy way. That was an easy way. <laughs> yes. Squall freaks out and tries to go up here and like starts touching everything, like seeing what happened, like where to go, like. Stay, staying off of it, but like kind of touching it. Like trying to investigate, seeing if there's anything. Yeah, you look at the sundial, no shadow, nothing. He touches the sundial. Uh, the the nomen? Okay. Or, the, or, yeah. Yeah, nothing happens. Because you're just standing off the side, touching it, right? Yeah, just just like where's, where Cyrus was, trying to figure out, see if you can like, see what happened to him. Uh, roll me an Arcana check. Eleven. You don't know. He just, like, went <laughs> right inside after he had climbed on top of it and or flew and landed on top of it. I wanna, like, step on it, but, like, I, I feel like that was just your way <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> but I don't want you to have to say say it. So, um, I think you just tell me what you're gonna do. I'm just whatever you want to do. I'm just giving you the situation, man. There's no, there's no shadow being cast. No shadow. I mean, Squall will tell you that there was, it, it was kind of in an X shape and then started spinning, getting smaller and smaller yeah. and kind of like disappeared into the, to the Nomen. Yeah, let's go back to where we came from. I'm actually going to step on the sundial. Okay, yeah, climb up, up uh, on top of it? Yep. Okay. All of a sudden, uh, everybody else sees as you go <laughs> right into the Nomen. And he disappears. Well, I guess it's a portal now. Let's go, boy. Climb on top. Yeah, I guess. The drill off goes. Okay. And he kind of like struggles for a minute and climbs on top and. Where am I? Ether is just like, fuck this shit back. This is how he leaves. 
panics a little bit, um, and then he just he he drops himself on top of it. You're gonna have to climb up. So crap. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He, he just climbs up. Climb, climbs up. Get on top, and then whoosh, I need to have somebody roll me a D8. I'm gonna do it, Adrika. Eight. This is the eight. Okay. Uh, you all seem to land uh, just somewhere over here. Yes, I'm a bitch. Any Cyrus? Uh, and Cyrus is nowhere to be seen. Okay. <laughs> so go up again and look at the sundial. Uh, sundial casts eight shadows that point in every possible pathway. Uh, only D eight. Let's go that way. Six, yeah, that's over there. <laughs> I, like, I, I didn't know how you did. <laughs> yep. All right, so you're taking that that exit. Yes. Yep. Okay. Roll me a. Uh, 2d6. I'll do it. it. You do it? Okay. Ten. So you go winding through um, the paths uh, to, for about a minute uh, until you come out into ah, sure. Where's my reveal areas thing? We cannot see anything. That's because I haven't uh, unhided it yet. Mm. Okay, now we can. There we are. Oh, shit. Yay! More fights! Don't touch, the, don't touch those. You emerge from the path into an area far larger than any open area you expected to encounter in the maze garden. Uh, this rectangular space must be 90 feet across, with its far side almost 150 feet, feet away. It looks like a boulder-strewn pa uh, pasture with a large pond to one side, a fenced vegetable garden, and an oversized cottage on the other. Uh, uh, sheep graze in the pasture, tended by a pair of cyclops, uh, but none of them are moving. They appear to be frozen in time. Yeah, that's great, our visibility. All right. So as you move in, all of a sudden, you see the cyclops and like shit. All of a sudden, to your left, you hear, uh, and it seems the goats have uh, uh, have looked up, and uh, now they're starting chewing in the grass. You see the two cy sky cyclops uh, continue to move. They see you, and they look at each other, and they start. Like saying something to each other, and then they do, Giant? and then it looks like they do um, uh, pap uh, boulder pa parchment shears, and one of them loses, uh, and he goes just kind of crunches, and he they both uh, walk up. They don't appear to be armed or anything. Oh Jesus! <laughs> I'm not on top of boy. Yeah, you guys aren't supposed to be here. You're just supposed to be up there still. <laughs> Don't move unless I tell you. <laughs> Let me describe the scene. <laughs> Stay. Stay. Can we understand them at all? Um, they speak giant. Yeah, uh, they speak giant. And is uh, hello, or where are you? Oh, Hi, Belwins. Uh, here. Uh, yeah, uh, I got. Well, you need to do something. And um, the guy who lost um, goes and picks up a small boulder from the ground. 
And then he looks downfield and he heaves the boulder and it goes flying in about 100 feet and it bounces and rolls about another 20. Uh, both Cyclops turn and uh, look at you expectingly. It says, beat that. So, I'm gonna go to the boulder. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take the boulder. You're gonna grab one of the boulders nearby, right? Yeah, and just yeet it in the same direction. Okay. Uh, what's uh, how much can you lift? Uh, I have twenty four strength. Okay, how much can you lift? Knuckle, Titan, Titan knuckles. Yeah, so I, I lift double of that. I'm just looking at how much weight I can lift. I don't know where it's written on the sheet. Um, with the twenty foot with the Titan stone knuckles and stuff, that you can yeah. probably. It's it's a good. It's you can it's, chuck. Big. I can I can push drag lift. A thousand four hundred and forty pounds. Okay. So you you pick it up. Roll me as that athletic check. Yes. Let's hope I roll high. Nope, that was not high. Someone is helping you, me, I guess. You just go. Ugh. You can do it, mommy. And it goes about like ten feet. <laughs> I look at it and I'm like. Oh, hell no. And I just yeah, the, it the, the Cyclops start laughing. I pick it back. I come back to the position I was. I'm like, I need some cheering over here. Okay, so he claps. See? With advantage. Uh. All right. Vintage thirty one is good. Yeah, but all uh, the the help was clapping, right? Yes. <laughs> no one is helping you actually physically helping you throw it. Uh, yeah, so, that mommy was was doing great, right? So, yeah, you're like, yeah, I could do, I gotta do this. Uh. Back, mom. Okay, okay, so I'll help out in an interesting way. So as soon as Federica tosses the um, boulder, like, boulder, Squall's going to fire an Eldritch Blast at it because it's force damage. Okay, roll me attack roll. All right, roll, damn it. Uh, so and then 14. 14? Okay. Yeah. Roll damage. So 15. Okay. Um, so you yeet it into the air, and you go, Actually, Ooh, and it pushes it a little bit. I think so. it, <laughs> and it hits the boulder. And then it falls about 50 feet away. Yay. All right, I've done my heavy lifting of the day. Catherine backs up just a tad. What type of genasi are you again? Air. Fire. Okay. Oh, air. Yeah, air. Yeah, the same. Levitate. I I have le I do have levitate. Yeah. Okay. So I yeah okay okay I see what you're going to. So I'm going to yeah I'm going to go up to the boulder and cast levitate on it. Mm -hmm. And then chuck it. All right, give me an athletic check. I'll say with advantage because maybe you're having Frederica push. Yeah, because I yeah. suck 
Or, or if you want to, you, you can basically hit levitate and have Frederic and help with the levitate push. Okay. I suck at athletics. So you cast levitate and it and it and it and, and it gets floating in the air, and then she just gives us a, a big yeet of a push, and it goes flying down, <laughs> down and. Uh, it uh, goes uh, right into uh, uh, the hedge and just kind of like stops there and like bounces down, or and then kind of bounces a little bit off of it, and then slows to a stop. Uh, the uh, cyclops uh, clap. Good job. We've done great. And uh, when the cyclops pulls. Let's see. Uh, oh, wait a minute. The stone that uh, Cyclops uh, Cyclops threw uh, all of a sudden splits in half. And uh, something falls to the ground from inside it. What is it? Uh, if you go up to it, it's a uh, topaz gemstone. Damn. You found a topaz. Oh, that might be useful for later. We got amber and topaz. Uh, garnet. Garnet and topaz. Sapphire. Oh, the, okay, yeah, I see what you're talking about. Yeah, the sapphire is something else. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll put that in. And then I murder them. Yeah, yeah it, uh, and they they kind of like this graciously point in the the direction to leave. They 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 are unarmed and they are not making any aggressive movements to you. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not even scared of them. Yeah, well, they're not trying to scare you. <laughs> yes, they're just cyclopses. <laughs> Apparently, they have a nice little farm here. They're just big guys. They're okay. They're just making their way. I mean, just because they're cyclopses and, and monstrous in form doesn't mean that they're evil or anything. And can I try to talk them into giving me a goat? Um, do you speak giant? Fuck, no, I don't. Okay, then. Uh, unless Frederica is willing to translate, no. Okay. Why? Why do you need? Why? <laughs> you say start. Start. You, you, you tap one of them and and be like, "Can I go? Let's get on." They're like, <laughs> they don't know what you're talking about. Anyways, no, you can't have a goat. <laughs> so you guys group together and leave. Yes, we do. All right, Nitro. Oh, wait, what were you looking for? Did you want to look for something? Um, well, are these, uh, these things like boulders or things? Uh, I'm honestly not sure what those are. Oh, it doesn't say. How do uh, maybe like hay bales? No, no, the hay is there. Probably bones? So that's the, I'm guessing, I'm guessing that's the, the um, Cottage, because uh, Wynn did say there was a cottage. Oh, yeah, probably. Cottage, a pond, a little grazing pasture, and just a field. Was the water? Uh, if you checked it, it wasn't that deep. It was about maybe getting five foot at the deepest. Okay. Yeah. Just enough oh. to water the goats. Yeah. yeah, there's nothing special about the place. What about the chair? Alright. Hey, guess what I need? Squall to roll a d8! Squall? Alright. And key trick to roll 2d6! Two, 2! Two. Okay... 7. 7, alright. 
Don't you worry. Know. I'm still moving you. Guys, yeah, coming out of G. You come out of the hedge. Yeah, no, it's like this. Then maybe not that order, but same idea. You, you, you come in from G. Where is it pointing? Pointing in all directions. And, all right. So we just went there. We came from there. Well, the shadows are pointing in all directions. So. They're they're uh, pointing where? They're the pointing area. north, south, east, west, northwest, northeast, southwest, and southeast. Oh, so they're pointing everywhere. Yes, that's why I said. Sorry. <laughs> uh, let's go there. Why why are you going there? Let's just run around. <laughs> right. Well, no, no, no. Okay. So we'll OD eight to see where the tower is. Yeah. Sure. Two. Two. It's coming from B. Do you know why it's coming from B? Because you rolled the two. <laughs> yeah. So it's coming from there. I yeah. actually say let's go here. Let's go the opposite way the tower is. Eh. Eh. Or we can try and stand on it like Keytrick said. Are you done? The arrows are pointing every. They're they're pointing to each path. Let, let me rephrase. They're pointing to each path. There we go. Wait. Okay. Okay. Uh, no. The tower just happens to be be visible towards B. So wait, okay. you say B. So I'm guessing that means here. Yes. Oh, okay. I, I suppose B is. Uh, not visible at the moment <laughs> because it's not on your layer. Um, I don't think this is a spoiler to anything, but it at least gives it gives me some reference to uh, 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 locations. Going to run this section. There, map layer. There. Now, now I can at least give you directions. All right, let's go B. Gonna go B. Yeah. All right, so you go B. I need a uh, two D six. Oh uh, no, yeah, I'll do it. Okay. Eleven. Two D six. Okay, so just over a minute. Why? Why over a minute? Well, it's over. It's <laughs> over a minute because. Uh, Six. It basically eleven rounds later. Oh, it's the the amount of time that it passes. Jesus. Uh. It goes south really quick. Well, need a, oh, I need to be on the right later. There we are. There we are. Much better. All right. I'm just moving the end. Oh, we're there. Don't worry, don't worry. You guys mm, appear down here. What's this? Doesn't look suspicious uh, at all. Ahead you see a bubbling fountain filled, uh, filling the path pathway. Uh, bright, large, bright flowers grow in the hedges on both sides of the fountain, each blossom shivering in the light. The air smells particularly fresh and sweet. Do I spot a gem? No. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go up. And what's in the fountain? So. As you're moving up to the fountain, uh, you can spot that there's a. You see these giant flowers on the north side and the south side. And as you get closer, you see uh, that the sh that 
The shimmering of flowers actually seems to be coming from a large pearl set into each one. Oh. Well, we might need pearls. Who knows? Let's get pearls. Do you, you do you, Squall? And I guess I'm going to ready an attack against a creature that's going to come out? I don't know. Are, is that what you're doing? I'm going to grab a pearl. One second. Okay, you grab the pearl. Or go to reach to grab a pearl, I should say. Uh, I need to get to the right layers. Also pop Yay. this up. Monsters! I need everybody to roll me for initiative. Yes. Everyone roll. Why? Did I move those to the wrong layers? That I did. Uh, e. Yeah, 13 total. That initiative. There we are. That's much better. Yay, monsters! Don't we like them, monsters? Give me a second. I also got the turn 20 thingy back on. Can you uh, put me in the turn order? Yeah, sure. Where are you? There you are. There you are. Thank you. Don't I have to turn dice rolling off? Oh, let's just try uh, initiative. Cool. Oh, that's not too bad. Uh, have we got everybody? I guess we do. Yep, yep, yep. All right, boy. Um, didn't I had a ready action? Sure. They have intact. I'm going to do my attacks. Sure. It, well, uh, for a ready to action, uh, because it's essentially a reaction, you can only make one attack. You sure? Yes. Okay. That is that is how I'm calling it. Oh, okay. Because it is, it, I would consider this as a reaction. Your action is actually reaching for the pearl. No, I, I ask uh, Squall and I put myself in ready action to attack if a creature pops out. Since last time he took a, a gem, creature popped out. Oh, okay. But the first one is a crit, so we like But when you're ready, ready in action, it's still a uh, uh, thing, so. Okay. All right. Um... And give me a second. So which, which one are, are you attacking? Uh, the closest one. This one? Okay. Yeah. And I have this to add, so this amount. Uh, but they, they, they didn't put my... Uh, well, it's okay. doesn't really matter. Oh yeah, they did. The minus five. Yes. yes. So, it's, so that's... Oh, wait a minute. Okay, right. I did too much. It's 18 plus 18 plus 11 plus 11. 
where are you getting those totals from? I'm not understanding this. Well, I have, I have, I have for your crit. It rolled an eleven plus the additional eight. Yes, which is the second part of the crit, right? Well, th that's the second part of the like the weapon attack. My weapon does two d six thunder damage. Um, and since it doubles, this is rolling. Yeah, two d six. Uh, oh, this is the thunder damage. Two d six. Okay, so okay. Technically, four d six, and there's the great, the great weapon master, which is the ten. Uh, 10 plus, and after that it's crit 8. The 10 plus is the Great Weapon Master. Okay, I gotcha. Oh, so you took a negative 5 then to add the 10. Yeah, C uh, plus 14 minus 5. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. Okay, I gotcha. Uh, Those high numbers. That planet is really hurt. Hold on. That's there we go. Much better. It. Oh, what? Why? Oh. That shouldn't be... Things like that. What is it? Well, I'm just seeing the health on one of them, and it's doing it for all of them. Oh, yeah. Uh, did you copy the monster? No, it was here to begin with. <laughs> oh. Well, I don't know then. Anyways, uh, so you do some pruning, okay? Boy, start. I'll deal with it as we go. <laughs> so, boys, turn. Yes, that's why I just said. I didn't it's boys, turn. I'll deal with it as we go. Sorry. So, um, boy is going to move if he can. Okay, no the same one. No, he, he they might be in danger, so he's gonna attack this one. Did he disengage? Uh, no, he didn't disengage. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming a 10 does not hit, but a 22 hits, so take 6 damage. Piercing damage as uh, the two plants next to him attempt to bite at him. 6 or 12? 6. Okay. Um, and he's going to attack this one. I guess a 24 hits. Yep. So nine plus twenty-four, and the other dragon tooth, which we if it hits, which it won't. Nope. Never mind then. <laughs> and that's it. Um, now the flowers will attack. This will be fun. All right, <clears throat> Frederica. Yes. Yeah, three attacks coming your way. Yes, of course. Um, got two tentacles. And a bite. Nope. None of them work? Nope. Okay. Boy! Uh, it's gonna get a bite? Uh, no. I'm assuming that hits. 25 does hit, yes. Okay, so take 8 bludgeoning, 1 piercing. And it is grappled. And you're grappled. He's going to hit you again. Uh, or attempt to, but didn't quite work. Nope. Okay. Twelve! Yes. You're getting attacked. 
Uh, 24 hits you. Yep. As the plant bites it. I'm going to say it bites into the hand that you're reaching to pull that pearl out of. That makes sense. 16. Uh, 17? 17 hits. Okay. So another 9 uh, bludgeoning 6 piercing. And a 9 won't hit. Uh, uh, Zindralov. It's a nice round. Uh, that one pings off his armor. That one misses. Uh, that one misses too. So it's under love's all nice and peachy. Catherick! Can touch this. Da, 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 da. Uh, that will miss. Uh, 20 hits you. Okay, take 9 bludgeoning to piercing. What's all 11? And another one, uh, it is only nine bludgeoning and eight piercing. It is not a crit, so. All good? <laughs> you sound questionable on that. And, well, I don't know if you're actually good. <laughs> oh, who did that attack? Sorry. Okay. Oh, that's hard to keep it. You know what would be great at this single moment? A wall of fire. <laughs> it's your turn, Zindala. Yeah, I'm trying to think what he wants to do. I think he trick your hurt. I am. But it's poor unfortunate soul. In pain. In need. Ooh. Guys haven't taken a rest, have you? This is it. Each square is. Are we doing that each square is 10 foot? But how it says? Yeah. Uh, no, it's it's each square on the map that as, as it is is still five feet. Okay. So this. Yeah, the, the square is actually four of the squares. Uh, if you get. Like the the actual map itself. Let me uh, let me unhide the key. Um, see how it says equals to ten feet, and it's actually four squares. Yes. So. Well, I see a square. I don't see where it says equal to ten feet. Um. To your to your right. No, we don't see it. Or to your left. I revealed the area. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's just. I see the square. Oh. I see the square here. But there's nothing written here. Okay, hold on. It's okay. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, I'm just I'm trying to for the sake of some attacks. Basically, I can. It should be there, because oh, it is on the GM layer. It's not it's not showing that it got selected. I'm a little upset about that up layer. There you go. Now you can see it. Oh, he closed oh, yeah. didn't fit. Oh. Ho. Okay. All right. Perfect. Okay. All right, now that we've uh, resolved that. Um, oh, wait. Got to do the thing. It'll be fine. All right, Zendralov uh, touches you, Kazark, uh, and gives you a uh, cure wounds. He's touching you. Uh, so heal for eight. You just see. You just you just see the elephant now just touching your shoulder. No, he uses his hand. <laughs> um, 
Is that, the, right, is that the right English word for the an elephant's snout? Trunk. What? Yeah. Trunk. Yeah. Uh, it's a trunk. I I I didn't know the word. In French, it's a trompe. Well, it's close. It's just pronounced differently. Anyway, French is a bad language. Yeah, it's terrible. Stay away, child. It's really fucking Quebecois. I know, I know. But we're great. We have great food. And we are we we are sadly one of the the, the places where we found most of the dead autochtons. As a bonus action, because I'm nice this way. <laughs> He's gonna cast a spiritual weapon, uh, and uh, uh, hit the one that the squall is working on. No, but it's okay. You probably gave him the feat um, that is entailed already. <laughs> oh well, it's not really a feat. <laughs> it's it's the house rule. <laughs> But they made a feat for that, no? I don't think so. Yeah, up to third oh. level. Up to third level, it's like um, any any high, uh, levels. I know it. I know they were doing a house roll. I don't think in the Teldor guide he has a feat for that. But they were house rolling it. That's what it was. Let's not check it now. But I, I I'm I'm pretty yeah. sure there is. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't. Like, uh, squall. All right. Big old elephant trunk just uh, thwomped at the the uh, plant that attempted to bite you. Okay. Well, it attempted to bite me. I didn't like that. Um, since this is kind of a confined area and I am a ranged person, I will mm. pass Tasha's other otherworldly other guys. Okay. What does that do? So I'm choosing lower planes. I get to uh, drop on magic of either upper or lower planes. So I'm immune to fire and poison damage, and I'm immune to poison conditions. I have a flying speed of 40 now, plus, and plus 2 to my AC. Nice. That's good. Mystic Arcanum. Um, so then I'm going to fly, I get like 20 feet in the air. Like, well, far enough that I'm not above the head, like, I'm, like, with, with uh, like, not in melee range, but not above the hedge that the weird... You're just off the ground. Yeah. Enough that I won't take disadvantage when I attack. <laughs> okay, so you stay within its reach. It's, okay. So... I'm then going to do a bit of a, 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 a Eldritch Blast at the one that tried to snap at me. Eldritch Blast on that one. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to do all three bolts at it. Those are, uh, yeah, see, 25, 27, 28. Uh, to hit? Yes. Okay, that hits. <laughs> yeah, I love a plus 12 to hit. So. So, the first one is going to be 15 force plus 5 fire damage. And then 14. So 14. 14 so this... force damage, and then 10 force damage. Maybe math. So a total of. No, 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 no. Hold on. I need those separately for reasons. Okay, so. Um, Before you, we were at the 14. 14. Was, uh, okay, it was, and what was uh, the last one? 10 force. 10 force? Okay, cool. Yeah. A uh, one one plant at the end, uh, uh, wizard 
withers away at the end and a pearl falls to the ground. Uh, but the other plants seem to become reinvigorated. Oh, that's thanks. The plant that cannot attack gets withered away. Um, that's movement, bonus, and action. That's right. That's good, Eldritch. That was a good Eldritch Blast. Uh, Did you get hit by a tech? Did you get hit by any of the tentacles? Me? Uh, yeah. I got attacked, but I don't know if it was by the tentacles. You, you should have gotten an attack. I uh, had three attacks on to, to it, so right. let me double check a few things. Probably is the answer that you're looking for. Kill him. Uh, the nine Kill him. Hit, the 20 and the 22 did hit. Okay, so you got hit twice? Okay, so you're grappled. Ah. So, you are restrained. Uh, you can escape the grapple by rolling a uh, strength or, acrobat or athletics or ac acrobatics check. We are grappled. And restrained until the grapple ends. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, we're restrained. That, that's, no, the restrained part is... Oh, um, then I need to check one thing. Acrobatics or, or athletics, either one. Oh, yeah, the tentacle uh, didn't hit me. Yeah. Um, just for future, because I don't think we did it last turn, but um, when we're restrained, you have advantage on the attacks. All right. So you easily escape uh, out of the grapple. Okay. I'll say that would take up a bonus action. I'm not going to say that's... Damn it. <laughs> so... <laughs> You, you still have your action and movement. Yeah, did see it. <laughs> you did see a pearl drop to the ground over here. Um, huh. Could I get a five turn, fifteen, five turn, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty? Fuck. Um, dash requires. Your action. Can I still dash? Well, it can require yeah. his bonus, so it's but either... It, because you, uh, cause I'm calling it that the escape can be considered as a bonus action, you can take an action and a movement. This is the remainder of, your, uh, of what you can do. You can use an action to dash. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing is you don't have anything else to do. You're just moving. I want to disengage. Okay. Okay, not towards the pearl. Because uh, that's where you came in. Pearl's over here. Yeah, I don't want to get the pearl. Should I get the pearl? You do your boo. I, I don't know. I don't see the importance of the pearl. Did I miss something? Don't worry about it. Okay. All right. I have a plan. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Frederica. Oh, it's my turn to play. <clears throat> yes. So, which one seems hurt? Uh, for some reason, all of the ones from the in the top. Uh, look hurt. The ones on the bottom do not. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna attack the one at the top, I guess. Just casuals attacks. I'll take care of the pearl. One attack. <laughs> Does it hit? Yep. No? Uh, yes, it did. Okay. I <laughs> have no. I was like, what? I said, yep. Yep. Oh, oh. well, I didn't hear correctly. Yeah, that's all right. 29 Go damage. Mm -hmm. Second attack. Does a 19 hit? Yep. 30 damage. 36 damage. 
and twenty-seven high damage. You just mow down, cutting weeds <laughs> into the thick of it, into the thick of it. Oh, realize I'm okay. And uh, that's it. Uh, yeah, that's going to be my turn. Cool boy. Um, uh, also, all of a sudden, the pearl falls down over here. Um, boy is going to, um, uh, to, since he's grappled, he's going in a bonus action to activate one of his new powers, Ghost Walk. So you're just yeah. going to see ghosts, a ghost of boy. He's there, but not really. Okay. Can you, can you give me the, can you give me the, the details? Yeah. Right. I'll link it in the chat. Yes, please. So basically, he becomes uh, incorporeal, and he can pass through uh, creatures, and he has a fly speed of 10 feet. Cool. So he's just going to get out of the... Uh, the the grasp of the tentacle holding mm. him. Yep. And he's gonna go above it, I guess. Like there. And attack the same one I attacked. Okay. Um but he only is gonna have one attack. Does a nineteen hit? Yeah. Yep. Last time it did. So this amount, thirty nine. Anything else? Sadly, no. That's it for him. All right. Um, actually, it's not Zindralov's turn. It's the creature's turn. It rolled a 19. Oh, that's right. I... They probably disappeared. Because I deleted the thing. And turn nineteen. Okay. So moving back around. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Uh, Frederica. Yes. Nope. Nope. Uh, boy, a disadvantage. Which one had tagged the boy? The one you're ne underneath him. So 13. So I'm going to reaction with us uh, with mother to attack it. Nine. Okay. And 12, so definitely just kind of like bites and whips through them. Doesn't seem to affect them at all. And it's 38 damage. 38. Uh, whoa. I'm assuming 26 hits you. Well, it's crit. That's a crit, crit, so you've got um, 29 points of piercing damage. Oh, and one thing I totally forgot. Uh, I need you to roll me a constitution saving throw. I, di I didn't do it from uh, for um, uh, Mother Federica. Cause, um, I didn't call for it. I also didn't call for it, so. Constitution saving throw? Yep. That could be a 12. 
Oh. Oof. That's not good. But also, is it like, I know it says become poisoned until the disease is cured. So yes. You're immune to poison. You're immune to poison? You're immune oh, okay. To the, the element poison or the poison condition? I'm immune to, um, according to this, uh, I'm immune to fire and poison damage, and I am immune to the poison condition. Okay, okay. that's perfect. Okay, so never mind. We did that for no reason whatsoever. No, no, yeah. I still could have just put it, right. but it's just the fact that I didn't doesn't still doesn't affect me. Yeah, uh, so you're good. Uh, another 22, I'm assuming, hits you. Yeah. Uh, so another 7 bludgeoning, 3, so 10 damage. Yeah. And you are grappled and restrained. Uh, 23. Yeah. Yep. Uh, how are you doing? Yep, because this is rough. Okay. Okay, it's Cinder Love's turn. I am, yeah, rough. Cinder Love. Oh, that will actually hit him. And he actually needs to roll over. Oh, anyway, you, you're immune to the poison condition because of the lower plane, no? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Did you miss Where's Interlove? He's not. But he can cure himself. Yeah, he can. I'm just using that because I'm picking a random one. Okay, anyways, moving on. Uh, we had the bite, tentacles, uh, that misses, and that misses. He got a splurge on himself. Huh, oh, guess who's in within 10 feet of a plant? Uh, and it misses. <laughs> it can only make one attack because it can't attack with this bite, so that's why I'm calling it for for his monthly attack. So, um, BRB. Interlov. Is tall. And hey, when can you see how much uh, health Cather has above him? Yes. Okay. Cool. I like it. It's helping me out now. Uh, what are you at, Squall? Uh, I'm health? at 55 out of 140, uh, 141. Oh, well. I, I am, I am for... You're bloody. Fine. I'm more than fine, at least. It, it, it's a flesh wound. Just a flesh wound, and he's just a, like the trunk. If anything, increase twenty. Uh, as so you get a cure a cure wounds from. Uh, Thank you. What a great healer he is. Your lucky win is not playing Zendulov as a uh, 
an RPG either. You dumbass, how did you get hurt? I punched the wall. <laughs> the plant has me. <laughs> it's a All right. plant. <clears throat> Squall. Okay. Uh, question. Mm -hmm. So I know I am grappled. Mm -hmm. Would teleporting get me out of that? Yes. All right. So I'm going to do far step. My bonus action. Cool. And... <laughs> Wait, I, I will use one of my attack, my attack uh, slots and then teleport over here. Cool. Thank you. 60 feet. <laughs> Um, you're like, thanks, in. <laughs> so, I guess you, just, I guess I, you I, lose, uh... I lose my otherworldly, otherworldly gaze, uh, Gaius. That's sad. Yeah, but, hey, it, it helped out. Yeah. When it, it, and then, when you're born. Just, just, you'd be like, fucking plan, just fireballs at, uh, this one. Actually, I'm gonna move it. Make sure I'm right there. Because you so, can. Fire. Yeah. Firebolt that one. Okay. Why not my fire? Rah. Twenty to hit. I'll hit. So three D tens. I just need to double check something quick. Alright, so this will get an extra five fire. So, 10, 11, any pluses? Nope, 11. So 16 fire damage. A pearl drops right here. Okay. So just just to be clear, the pearl here, pearl here, pearl here. Okay. Um. So you're gonna see boy taking the uh unless you count them as one creature. Hmm. Do you count them as one creature? For all the plants. Yeah, because Baby. otherwise boy is just gonna take like part of its energy while it dies. If it's a whole one creature, it's just gonna take one at the end. It's just so he stay. Yeah, uh, the creature would be taking damage, or he's just healing because one of the creatures died. Neither. He's just gonna take the soul like he did with the shoals. All right. The yeah, that would <clears throat> for each one. So there will be three of those. So those those are just little flowers in his hands. Beautiful flowers. <laughs> I like how that is. And Squall, you're done. Um. Yeah. Well, before anything, I'm I'm just being like, get away from here. Like, get away from this plant. <laughs> just yell out to everyone. Just like, get away from here. No, yeah, my turn. What am I doing? Grabbing something. Yeah, I gotta get the right spiritual, spiritual oh, weapon. Jay. God damn it! The dice goblin coming out of the well. <clears throat> Catherick. Okay, I'm gonna move away from that thing. Great, that great. Apparently hit me, <laughs> and I will shoot at this guy. Thing. 
Carnivorous flower. And this plant. I'll hit. Uh, do I get sneak attack because Zendalov is there? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's within five feet. Um, I'm sorry, I just forgot how to play. Uh, 14 damage, 3 lightning. Uh, it did not roll sneak attack. One moment. Where did... There it goes. Anything else? Um, ooh. Do I have anything else? I don't think I do. Because he did a, a partial move uh, uh, attack. Move, so, I can... so you have bonus action. But you can bonus action oh, setting. engage or you can... Uh, no, he's fine. Action. Yeah. yeah. So if you, you, you could have used your bonus action to give you advantage on the attack. Yeah, I think he uh, steady aimed. No, I, I can't steady aim because I moved. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, you're right. Uh, I didn't think you moved. But you have your bonus action available if you want to use it. Yeah. You don't have to. Feel like I'm safe? Question mark. <laughs> um, I'm Ron Bergen. I, I, would, I would say that you wouldn't be able to hide. So... so. Okay, that's fine. That's my pose. Frederica. You know me. Don't go ahead and do your tax. Those are 16 uh, hits? Yeah, 16 hits. Alright, so those amount. Um, left attack. Hold on. Just wait a second. Yes. I, well, if, I, can, I, I, can, I said, wait a second. <laughs> well, you can say it's a dead weight. Wait. Wait. I'm trying to do what the more than one thing, okay? Sorry. All right. Because I have the reach to hit those two, so in cases of, in cases of. Okay. Do that around. Okay, cool. A uh, pearl drops right there. All right. Anything else? So all those attacks killed one. Yep, one wither was away while well, the others heal up, although you're then you attacked them again a bunch and yeah. they don't look so good. No stress with that. Also I just remembered some uh, something. Darn it. Oh well. Uh, that's I'm, my bad. I'm gonna accent church. Gonna accent yeah. church. Sure. Mm. Oh, hello. That's uh. Oh, where where was the? There we are. Okay. All right. So. So for the crit. Uh, mm. So we're gonna have that because I forgot last turn to add it. So. We had it now. Mm. Hello. I'm just gonna. Mm, hello. I don't know if it's immune acid though. That's all right. You're not supposed to know. No, it's just... In that oh. Right, hold on. So you missed on one of those attacks. Yeah, I guess the 13 doesn't hit. Okay, so, cool. Pearl drops to the ground here. Okay. 
All right, boy. Boy is going to finish this one. Are we flanking, by the way? Yeah, I probably could say you are. You hit either way. That amount. Okay, cool. Anything else? Yes, he's gonna move there. All right. It's swapped by a tentacle. He's gonna hit, not the crit, but he's gonna hit. So, five and seven. Yes. Five bludgeoning, seven piercing. Yes. That's it? Yes, it is. Cool. Frederica. I'm getting attacked. Uh, miss. Miss. All right, well, does 16 hit? 16 doesn't hit you, right? Frederica? No, I think you got a 20, right? And, or is it 18? I can't remember which I put where. I would check, but I can't. Hold on. No, it's 20. Okay, cool. Hello? There you go. So none of those hit. Uh boy. Can I do something? Well, I can do it now. I'm gonna do it now. What are you doing? My sister is gonna attack the one that attacks boy. So first one that comes gets Okay, so this one's attacking boy. Within so within your reach. Yeah. The boy. Right. Don't touch my child. Uh, miss, 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 because he's still incorporeal. Yep. Uh, there is also a uh, two tentacles that come to him from the adjacent plants. Uh, miss. And miss. Then Drilov gets attacked by uh, two tentacles. Two tentacles. Uh, that will not hit. And that will not hit. Because Zindralov is ACI. He's <laughs> tanky. And this isn't even plot armor. No. <laughs> by the way, were, wasn't uh, the the two guys that were playing Zinder Love and um, the little boy at the at the beginning supposed to come back at some point? Yeah, that didn't happen. Uh, whoops. Well, I know one the guy that was playing the rogue. He wasn't going to come back because it just it interfered too much with the schedule. Oh, yeah, I guess it. And I don't know what happened with the guy that uh, ate bit because he's no longer part of the Discord. Oh. <laughs> well. All right. The movement's made. On. Central Lab is going to disengage and fly over here after his weapon went over here to. Kill off that plant. Uh, on his way, he's going to quickly, uh, as a free action, uh, grab one of the pearls. Because there's a, like, six pearls just lying on the ground on that side. Ball! All right. For my action. I am going to need, I'm going to use my last pack slot right now, because, and for a 20-foot sphere, centering right here, mm -hmm. I think it's going to hit all three of these. 
Yeah. Uh, next save. Because I'm going to do a fireball. It's 20 foot radius? 20 foot, uh... Yeah, 20 foot radius. Yeah, 20 foot radius, uh, radius sphere centered on the point must make a dexterity saving throw. And the DC's 20. Okay, so technically those fives, me, and, um... Me and boy, I guess? No. I He's a, you, you, you're just gonna position it here, though, right? Yeah. Okay. I I get it, but like, uh, it's look, really let him let him position it where he wants to position it. I understand what you mean, but he may not really care too much about about necessarily maximizing damage, but more of that's what I'm saying. But more of doing doing damage in a certain place in order to avoid his friends. I know, but the squares are not ten feet; they're five feet. No, the squares are five feet. That's why yeah. I'm saying twenty feet. The 20 feet would list as 40 feet on here because it's counting the small squares, the one where the characters fit in, as 10 feet for some reason, but it's only five. Yeah. So, Keithrick is going to possibly take some damage, but he's a rogue, so I'm hoping his. his no, it's, it's, a 20 foot, it's a 20 foot radius, right? Oh, 20, uh, 40? Yeah. So. so, no, you're doubling things. You need to do, go the other direction. What? It's no, because... On your safe oh, yeah, it would be it would be half. Okay, uh, you're yeah. right. So, Keithrick's the only one that's in, like, in it. Yeah. But... That, that, that's why so, yeah, so, we're getting four. Okay. Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's either it's either Keithrick or or uh, sister. Keithrick has a um, yeah. So we're we're just going with that. Okay. I, I'm still I'm still gonna choose. I originally chose right here. And I'm gonna yeah. stick with that. There's no problem with that. I would just wanted to make sure that we counted correctly. Okay. So the same amount of creatures can... are gonna get hit. Yeah. So Keithrick, I'm gonna need a deck save from you. Apologies. You make it. And he takes no damage because of the level he no. is? Um, yeah, do, do you have evasion, Catherick? Um, I think you'd have damage right now. Rogue at level 9? No. Rogue at level let, 7, let, they get evasion. Let, let him look. Wait. Let, yeah. Okay, You're so you, you'll take no damage. He trick your grace with that. Rogues. Recently. Okay. Well, there you go. Okay. Right. One, two, three, four. Oh God. I'm not looking okay. good. No. no. The DC was 20. Well, they don't really have any bonus to their deck saves. They're plants. They shouldn't have too much. Yeah. <laughs> they don't have legs, so we know. Uh, hold on a second. I'm going to do something. Legs just no, I wonder. Running right after you. <laughs> uh, so how much damage? 10, 20. 30, 37. 37. Uh, actually, 30, uh, 40, uh, 2, because of my uh, patron. This, okay. uh, first hat, attack each turn does an uh, additional uh, 5. Okay. Is it, is it first attack? First attack of each of, each of my turns. I get to do uh, da fire damage equal to my uh, proficiency bonus. Uh, yeah, the Montold Gift, right? Yeah. And since I have Efreet as my um, patron, it's uh, five additional fire damage. Okay, Pearl drops from the uh, far uh, bottom one. As it withers away. 
I don't think I have any bonus action. Actually, I can. Um, I'll walk up here. Yeah, I'll be within range, but uh, so there's a pearl right here, right? Yeah, right around there. I'll say you'd be able to pick one up. Yeah. Oh, and then I'll close. The, I'll move there, pick up the pearl, move back. That's my turn. Um, I don't think you move. Well, you got in range of one of them, and then you attempted to go out. You're not moving from there. Which provoked an attack of opportunity, so. Yeah. So you are currently grappled, and you take uh, nine damage. Nine. That's fine. All right. Keithrick. Yes. I'm going to shoot that one. Uh, steady aim. And shoot. Twenty seven. Okay. Piercing, three lightning, twenty for the pack. And that's my turn. All right, sister. It's waka time. Oh, don't I need to do a constitution saving throw? Uh, no, because you weren't bit, you got a tentacle. You're just grappled right now. No, it's a tentacle. Yeah, but the bite is the one that needs the constitution save. Yeah, it's the bite that has the con save. It's the constitution and just the tentacle that has the restraint. Got it. That would be disgusting that both has both. Alright. Who am... Ta-da! All right. So I'm going to ask you not to do this again. Okay, sorry. Because because of reasons I need it takes a while and I want to do, do and it may screw me up in the math. So don't do that again. <laughs> sorry. I understand easy to move up move along, but this you're just going to sit here while I I keep typing numbers and making sure I'm typing the right numbers. <laughs> it's I easier if we do it one at a time. Numbers, though. But don't. Just just don't. <laughs> okay. okay, I can see the numbers. I am doing this a certain way. Even when you say them, I still do it the way that I'm doing it. So save me trouble okay. by not. Okay. This one with the way. Uh, Pearl drops to the ground. All right. Anything else? No. Okay. Um, yes. Sorry. All right. Boy, what do you? Boy is going to attack because he's going to coordinate attack. Okay. Coordinate attack. Go ahead. Forever. <laughs> In the future, you're going to have to call it before you roll. Sure. I can not roll it. I don't mind. No. No. Just, just go ahead. I'm just, that's why I said in the future. Oh, this. All right. And now it's boy's turn. Uh, oh, yeah. That's boy's turn. Right. Because Courtney and Salt. Go ahead. Both attack hits. Mm -hmm. Don't take care of the sneak attack at the, the end of the second one. 17. Uh, 
sadly, because it's right. one. And as I said, don't do it again. Just do one attack at a time, please. All right. Cinder Love. Um, it disengage over here. Uh, send the weapon over here. Uh, it's going to miss. This little spectral goblin goes flying over and goes whoosh. Squall. Squall. You're saying something, Gary. Yeah, no, I, I was. I forgot my. I muted my mic. Uh, we're just gonna do a nice little like, since all my pack slots are used up right now, we're just gonna do a nice little Eldritch Blast right here. Okay. Uh, all three of them on that one. Actually, we'll see how things go. Um, okay. So first one. Uh, that's gonna be a twenty-two. Uh, I'll hit. Uh, 11 force damage, 5 fire. Okay. Second one. 18. Okay. I'll hit. Uh, just a little six force. Okay. And final. Uh, that's going to be a 21. All right. Uh, seven force. Okay. Anything else? Uh, I don't got nothing for bonus action, and I'm staying put. Okay. Like, everything where I'm at right now. Oh, yeah, you're also still grappled. Oh, no, you're not, like, grappled, oh, because no. the flower that I had you is, uh, uh dead. Dead. <laughs> it's a tree now. Yeah. Catherick. Oh, um, the road goes brrr. Um, um. There's a whole bunch of uh, pearls. Your friends are all on the other side of the room. And I still don't know what the pearls are for, so Catholic wouldn't go for them. They, 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 they must be important because there's a lot of them. <laughs> um, shooting this one. Okay. Um, I had to make sure that the advantage part was correct because it seems a bit OP, OP to me. Well, it's taking up your bonus action, right? Yeah. Okay. That's not super OP. <laughs> they both hit. Please hit. Hey, this is for everybody. Do one attack at a time, please. <laughs> okay. But that's okay. So first one, they both hit. Uh, so 15. Okay, go ahead and do the second one. Oh, I, I only have one oh that was advantage. advantage. Never mind. Yeah. Okay. Um, Never mind. In that case, then they're not that big of a deal. Um, Sorry. Any, anything else? Uh, I think he did bonus action. Are you going to move at all? Alright. Yeah. Yes, just do it automatically. You have one that attack. Is, that is my turn. Alright. There we go. Well, I'm going to do it one at a time this time. Okay. First attack. 
Even though I, I have advantage, so I need to kill all the advantage. Okay. So, first attack, it's 35 da uh, no, 40 damage. Okay. Second attack is 29. Okay. Does a 14 hit? That hits. Wow. Bless the ring. Bless the ring. So 32. Okay. That's third attack, so fourth attack. 31. And uh, decide. That's it. Cool, boy. Boy is going to move. And is going to attack. Mm -hmm. With advantage. And yeah. Mm -hmm. And do this amount of damage. Cool. Anything else? Yes. Second attack from boy. Mm -hmm. Why did I use the... Don't take care of the crit at the end, at least. <laughs> so, 8 plus 7, I guess. All right. Anything else? No, that's it for them. All right. The plus side, I only have to deal with one flower. Uh, Frederica, you okay? you're taking the brunt of it. Uh, that won't hit. I'm assuming a, a 15 won't hit. Sadly, no. Okay, that definitely won't hit. Sadly. And that won't hit. Yeah, sadly, no. Cool. Poor little flower. Sindralov uh, uh, looks at Squall while he, his uh, spiritual weapons are doing energy. Uh, are you still hurt? He's like clutching his side, like Squall is just like clutching his side and kind of just like bend over, like it's nothing. And he, he he touches you and you heal for nineteen. Much appreciative. He kind of like sit, sits up a little bit more. That's a more perhaps now. And uh, uh, and it's your turn. Just gonna look at this fucker and just go, like, "All right, boy." So boy, boy is gonna turn his head. What? <laughs> not, 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 not you, boy. Just. I mean, never mind. <laughs> like I tried to, I, it's supposed to be a perform like a show. God, you guys know nothing of showmanship. Oh, I'm doing Elder's Blast. So yeah. Seventeen. Oh fuck off. Yeah. Dude, the possibility of me not hitting this creature is really slim. Because <laughs> if a 14 hit, that means I have to do a critical fail or a 2. Or a critical fail, that's the only way I cannot hit. Wow. <laughs> so, 7, 4, 5, fire. 7, 4, 5, fire. Twenty eight hits. Uh, eight. Okay. Fourteen. I'll hit. <laughs> and fifteen damage. Okay. Yeah, it's gone. The dagger pearl drops to the ground. 
So now you're in a room with, or, or in a pathway uh, with a bunch of dead flowers, uh, some of them scorched and singed, and a bunch of pearls lying on the ground. The squall will just like bend over on his knees, just like, <clears throat> what the fuck is this place? Like, honestly. That was great gardening experience. So you just start like crawling and just start picking up all the pearls because they're, they're nice pearls. I yeah, they're like, pretty nice. And like, once he picks everything up, he's like, can I just get like 10 minutes, guys? 10 minutes? 10, I just need 10 minutes. Hey, guys? Um, do you want to take a short rest? That's what I'm doing. I only need 10 minutes once a day. I, I get it, but like, we could just take a short rest for the rest of people, too. Or you, you can all come in my bottle. Like, if anyone needs a little breather and wants to get out of this maze, like, it's a little muggy and stuff here, and I have a nice, like, it, like, I, know it's, I haven't talked about it much, and I'll just pull out my lamp, like, so my, uh, I can, like, bring you all into my bottle here, and it's really nice, it's, like, the perfect, like, you just see him do, like, like, Italian chef kiss, just like, perfect temperature atmosphere in here and like it's taking me a while to get this the way it is but it's just you can all come in um boy do you need to rest probably not really key trick well i think uh, your the uh your marshal the, your uh, martial people probably don't need as much of a rest as us who spellcast us. Uh, I would be glad to accept your invitation. Oh, I'm going to take it. Are all the pearls picked up? Yeah, I went around and picked them all up. That wasn't already picked up. Okay. So what there was... So I know Zindralov picked up one. Yeah, Zin has oh, one. Two, three, four. How, many, how many creatures were there? Uh, twelve. Oh, twelve. 12. So I have eleven pearls. I picked up one, and I I picked up all the others. Uh, would anyone else like to come in and yeah. get a quick breather? So, uh, so sis, uh, Federica, I don't know why they call you sister. It's weird. Um, Zindralov. Anyone else? Yes, um, well, boy, can you guard the said? Uh, yeah, I, I, I can stay out here if you'd like me to, Mom. Well, I trust you with that bottle. Okay, just a bottle. I don't see what's big about it. How do you fit in there? She's gonna show me. If you remember correctly, you fit it in a in a in a small tiny egg. I mean, the egg was about this big, and he shows about two feet tall. <laughs> Holds his head about two feet about the ground. Well, you still fit it in it. Actually, three feet large, pretty big. I mean, I grew it's a lot smaller than the, the, the egg. <laughs> um. All right. So and, and like, so like that was just me. <laughs> you have a point. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't say it, but he'll stay out. Yeah, us rogue bros staying outside, doing rogue things. He, he holds out his fist for a fist bump. He still doesn't All know right. what that means. All right. So everyone, I, I whoever's coming, just come stand near me. And then I'm uh, just going to focus and will all of us into, all the, the, the three of us, into the bottle. So what you see is all of a sudden, like, just like a, like, a small, like, cyclone kind of start forming around it. Or no, yeah, a little cyclone, but, like, it starts to get, like, it's red. Or should, uh... Like a, a fiery in, inferno uh, yeah. spiral. 
and like everyone like it was just all of a sudden like it forms in the bottom of our feet and then it just all of a sudden just kit lifts us up and starts heading towards the stopper of the bottle and the bottle will the stopper will pop off by itself and everyone like as we get closer to the bottle we just get smaller and smaller and smaller and then we just go inside just... whoa that was pretty like because you, you you know when when uh cyrus makes the whole like like gate thing I mean, that's all bit like big and magical, and this was like, like whoosh! It was like so, so weird. So extra. A A picks up the bottle and says, looks around. Um, how much you want to bet? If we go that way, we run into the sundial again. And we get a um, short rest. Yay! I have gold. I'm going to use four of my hit die. Uh, Zindralov is going to uh, use his hardest divine power and regain a couple of spell slots. <laughs> Uh, do you, do you want to go check? Should we should we just like walk that way? Sure. All right, so you guys guys walk that way. I want you to roll me uh two d six. Do you, do you feel if your bottle's moving? Slightly. Um. It, it, well, actually, no. Because the bottle, like the bottle, is just a vessel for the extra dimension that the um, for the extra dimension that's in the inside. It's kind of like a bag of holding. Like but when you go in it, it's actually its own little pocket dimension. Cool. So, but yeah, it's this receptacle. So if the bottle breaks, it like it's kind of like turning out the, the, a bag of holding. Like everything gets spilled out. All right, Catherick. I want you. I got a question for you. Uh, highs or lows? Um, ignore this. Low. Okay, roll me a d20. Fuck yeah. Cool. Well, actually, I don't know, so. <laughs> no, that's all right. Maybe not. Yeah, that's looking better. All right, roll me a d8. Oh my god. We don't know what's going on. We we see and hear outside, right? Nope. All right, cool. It's, like I said, it's its own little pocket dimension. It doesn't say what what like anything about it. So I am uh saying that it is its own little pocket dimension. Oh. Let me double check. Oh. Oh no! So the the interior is pointed with uh, cushions and low tables, and it is a comfortable temperature. While inside, you can hear the area around your vessel as if you were in its space. You can spend it. Uh, we can spend up to ten hours in there. So we can even well, if I don't do this for a short rest, for a long rest, we can stay in the bottle. And um, I think uh, the bonus damage of your um, elemental gift, no, uh, Genie's Wrath is on attack rolls, not on saving trolls, Sassy. Uh, I don't think that came up. Yeah, I did earlier. Anyways, don't worry about it. Yeah, I know. That's why I didn't say at the moment it was not relevant. I don't think it's five damage. We were five damage. Uh, in, in any case, in any case, uh, Key Circuit Boy uh, end up at the Sundial again. Are we going in? Uh, let's see here. And he puts the he put he, he goes up to the to the uh, oh, yeah. he goes up to the Sundial. This is all during your ten minutes inside the the bottle. So 
Yeah, he goes up. He he sets the bottle onto the uh, sundial uh, stand, like next to the nomen and everything. And he says, "Well, it looks like it's pointing in each direction." And uh, again, Whoa. should we wait? Should we just like before we do anything? Should we just like wait here for mom and 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 Zin and and squall? Okay, I'm gonna just lean up against this bush here. So, uh, 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 um, and and uh, so uh, boy uh, leans up against the let uh, hedge, and then all of a sudden falls into it and disappears. Damn it, boy! Well, and he's the one with the with the bottle. Oh, he left the bottle on the, the. He had left the bottle on the 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 sundial. Do I notice him fall into it? Uh, yeah. He he like kind of like leaned on like he he expected the the hedge to hold him up, and then he just kind of like went into it. Uh, and, and kind of like fell backwards. Okay. Uh, um. Surprised, I I get up and go look for him. Okay, what do you do? Uh, uh, you just kind of like touch it, or what are you? What are you doing? Like, do this to the uh, hedge where he went. If you just kind of like open it, uh, you see hedge. <laughs> you don't hear him or anything. Uh, oh yeah, I'll shout out for him. Anything. Hmm. Fuck. Okay. Um. I'm gonna grab. Grab the uh. Fucking lamp. Um. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna shout into the uh, uh, wherever the hole is. And <laughs> you pull out the stopper and go. <laughs> and shout get into out. it. Get out of here, <laughs> please. If you can hear me. <laughs> Anything? How long has passed? Uh, probably about a couple minutes. Oh, shit. Not the full 10. Okay. Um, cool. Because we need to wait the full 10, otherwise uh, I can't do this again for another month. Yeah, it took, I would say it took about probably like one or two minutes for you just like hanging out there as soon as you went, as they went into the bottom. It took about um, eight rounds uh, to get to the sundial. Uh, and I would say about a minute or two to, uh, to before he disappeared into the hedge. So we're good like five minutes into this? Yeah. If nothing happens, like, within the second of me asking for help. <laughs> You're panicking. Yeah. Uh, so, he's just going to hold on to the lamp um, football style and just <laughs> rush into the uh, hedge. Okay. Think of it. So you jump into the hedge. All right. Um, so Where is it? Uh, I need to find them. Might need my help for something. Yeah, but if it, it, time, we're almost at the time, and if we, if I take this out now, I literally can't do this again for another long, another until we rest for the evening. It's okay. And I'm, I'm not hurt. No. I so, Catherick. to take us out. Uh, I can't just, I can't just take you out. No. Catherick, you see, um, you, you jump through the hedge, and all of a sudden, you're, you, you just kind of like land, and you look around, and you see this sea boy looking up uh, at the tower, uh, and you see the entrance to the tower. There's a balcony there, and you hear, oh, yeah. you hear, yeah. you hear someone. Um, where is it? You, you see he's looking at someone who's on a balcony that's leading over. And he says, uh, 
they saw you in the village. I, I've taken the mask, but they realize that it's missing within minutes. Uh, look for me beneath the tower, for it's the only place I have have a chance to hide. This is the key and that will let you teleport to the dungeon. As he speaks, uh, the figure holds aloft, um, uh, who's, who, uh, when you look up, is holding um, a, a blue mask in one of his hands, and he holds up another one item. Uh, which looks like some sort of, of white glimmering hourglass. I will leave it behind after I use it, but others will find it before you do. The speaker looks over your shoulder as another figure suddenly dashes out onto the balcony. Or you actually you can't really see it from the angle, but you hear some, some additional footsteps. You see some flashes of lights and some clinking of blades um, as a spell fire uh, uh, erupts. And the figure uh, who sp spoke pitches the, his attacker over the railing and the body falls pff, right next to you. Um, did we um, ever get a description of the defector or whoever we're here to uh, help? Nope. You knew he had, he had the blue dragon mask. He has it in his hands. Um, Zinderlove. I, I mean, do you want to stay in here? I mean, we're, we're about, it, ten minutes hasn't quite passed. I'm not quite ready for everything. I can okay. I can send uh, if sister does not want the full. If Frederick does not want the full short rest, I can send her out. I can eject any number of creatures from the vessel, and everyone is ejected if I leave or die, or the vessel is destroyed. So um, if sister doesn't want the full. Uh, short rest, I can send her out. But what I'm saying, we just heard a loud thud that sounded like a corpse hitting a ground. And then you you hear, uh, Mama, it sounds like we've made we we made it to the front. Uh, everything's fine. Uh, although the guy who apparently we're getting because he had a blue mask and everything, uh, he kind of, uh, he said something about going into, uh, below the tower and, uh, he had a thing and he showed me this, like this hourglass thing. Uh, I, I could tell you more, but if you want to rest for a little bit longer, it just, it's fine. Everything's fine here. Uh, there's a path that leads right to the sundial, but then goes right into the village. It's so weird. I'm going to try something since I, uh, since the beginning, we can talk telepathically with our dragons, with the uh, the charm scale. Yeah, sure. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to no, pass Jordan, him. Jordan, Jordan, let's, yes. Remember, I do you want the short rest? I don't need it. Okay, I can take you out. That's what I'm trying. <laughs> I said I can. I I me and Zen can stay in. I understand, but I cannot. I cannot res him. The only oh. Well, okay. Let 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 me try to like clarify. The attacker was the one that was thrown over the balcony. The guy that was holding the mask was not thrown over the balcony. Okay. I, I thought otherwise. I was like, Jesus, I need to get out. He needs healing. Oh. So, um, no. In that case, we're gonna finish. Just. Boy, make us enter. We're gonna come out. Yeah, it's it's fine. We're I'm I'm keeping watch over it. Uh, nobody's come out this door. Well, they better not. Well, I, I actually no, it's not a door. It's a like a palpitation circle thing. <laughs> that door. Uh, all I see is this like magic circle thing. I don't actually see a door or anything. So I probably will need you guys. I, I'm sure we got time. Don't worry about it. It's fine. I just want to keep you appraised of the situation. It's fine. We got this, don't we, Rogue Bro? Inspect his hand. That's the third time he's done that. I'm, I'm just gonna like look at his. So here, get, give me your hand and put. Just make it into a fist, okay? Like, like this way. Oop. See, it's called fist bump. Bro, bro! Huh? Huh? My child is a child! Alright. You don't see what's happening. <laughs> no, but my child is a child! 
<laughs> In real life, you would play football. <laughs> oh, if I'd play football, so hockey, maybe. Waiting here for them to finish. <sighs> yeah, I think we'll be fine. And look at this. It, 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 you see this like hedge that's kind of right around this like little entrance where area where there's like a, a little patio, and in the middle is this uh, glowing uh, symbol of runic uh, spells, um, which you could probably recognize as probably some sort of teleportation circle. Uh, and, and but in the wall of the hedge that's surrounding it, there's a path, and when you look down it straight down it you see the sundial see it leads to the sundial and just beyond that you see the entrance to the village cool. um i'll just sit somewhere um it has I not will... been 10 minutes right yeah but you guys can it, that all take probably about three more minutes but you know what? For that three minutes, we could take a 15-minute break. <laughs> yeah, and um, I'm just going to tell you what Boy's going to do in the meanwhile. So you oh, can sure. think about it. Um, he's going to pass through the walls and like try to check where would be the, the, the like how to get down and stuff. Oh, he would do his thing? Okay. Well, yeah, since he's still in his stance that he, he can... like. So uh, I'll tell you what happens. Is he 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 goes up to the wall thinking, oh, I could probably go through this. He goes, boom, boom. oh, well, that didn't work. Not okay. <laughs> Anyways, let's take a break. Yeah, be back in about you know five minutes. Yeah, refresh beverages, etc. I took my headphone off. Are we we're taking a break? Yeah, we're taking a break. Okay. Je vais allumer une chandelle.
Oh, cat left. Who? Cat. I think. Uh, he's in our Monday group. He dropped from campaign. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm talking to him right now. Well, that's sad. What was he playing? An artificer. What level are you guys? Four. Four. God damn. Very probably next session we'll be at five. Oops. Any of you, uh, Bo Burnham fans? Okay. Yes and no. Like, I haven't watched his special. Um, uh, uh, keep on forgetting your name. Patrika, I'm sorry, I only can remember your character. It's okay. Um, um, I said, is anyone uh Bo Burnham fan and then Justin I think Justin might I'm gonna say no since I don't know what it is. Bo Burnham is a comedian. Oh no nah, no unfortunately I don't know most um, American comedian. But some are nice. Okay. Just wondering. Yeah. And I'm pretty funny. 
does he has a uh, dark humor kind of style? Offensive? Yeah. Yeah. I may I may have heard some of his jokes then. Yeah, he just released a special on Netflix. Okay, and is it good? I, like I don't. Him. I'm not a big enough fan of his to actually watch it. So. <laughs> I mean, one of one of the uh, American I've watched as a comedian is uh, Fluffy. So. Oh, Gabriel Iglesias is amazing. Oh, good. I watched the show too because it's good. Fluffy. I'm not fat. I'm fluffy. Yeah. Each their own. I mean, we're queer, and we're ready to slay. Wow. All right. No more time to prepare. Meanwhile, back at the eyes file. The uh, door opens and you hear uh, some giggling uh, coming from. And uh, our friend Court, all dressed to the nines, is escorting a lovely gnomish lady with pigtails. uh, Also uh, dressed up. uh, But more in kind of like that Victorian style uh, clothing, steampunkish sort of clothing. She has a pistol at her at her waist uh, and uh, a bag of holding with her as well. She says, I, "Oh, I can't wait to see your workshop." Oh, I'm sure you'll absolutely love it. Uh, uh, now, you know what we discussed, and and. And uh, I, I know I, I had a good time, but uh, um, look, I know that you need to go home, and I will definitely miss you. I've had some great times with you, but I would like to see what I should be expecting if I'm to take this position. Um, what position? She hasn't been registered for me. Uh, a black dragonborn, small dragonborn comes right around the corner, and she's holding a book with a quill. And she says, says who, who, who's this who's this young lady? <laughs> she, the, the, the lady blushes and says, I'm young. <laughs> I'm sorry, child. No, I'm I'm 90 years old. <laughs> I don't know if she would necessarily call that as young. Well, well you're definitely young for a gnome. <laughs> Jeff, uh, uh, I'm a little bit older, but you know, honey, don't worry about that. Right. Uh, excuse me, my name is Gemna. Um, Court thought I would be perfect to fill his position when he returns home. Oh, really? Well, I have to interview for you first. Uh, says who? Says me. Now, you said you were, you were an artificer. Let's see what you can do. Let's go to the workshop. And she starts jaunting away and she walks past as Leighton's coming in the other side side it says you better follow her and follow her instructions just humor her will you although we did kind of put her in charge of hiring for replacements but don't worry i'm sure everything will be fine and nice to meet you gemna my name is Leighton. oh oh you're 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 one of the dragons. Is that your sister? Yeah, that's Lemon. Uh, she's kind of taken in as kind of this secretary. Oh, well, she's so sweet. I will definitely humor her. We'll see what we can do for her. And she starts walking off. Cork goes, oh, well, uh, I hope everything works out. Uh, oh, wait for me. And they walk off. Meanwhile, black, back at a wizard's tower. Uh, ten minutes has passed. Um, uh, Zindralov has has prayed, and a couple of pulses pulse from his uh, holy symbol. Uh, I feel a little bit refreshed. Not one hundred percent, but hey, this is what you can do. Normally, it would take an hour. 
he lost HP, I think uh, he gains more since we're inside of the lamp. Yeah, you, uh, um, you gain... Um... Pull back up. I had it. Um, anyone can add my proficiency bonus to the number of hit points they gain if they spend any hit dice as part of, their, of a short rest there. Nice. So you get an additional five. It's a flat five, it's good. I think that's just total, it's not per hit die. That we got late. out of the lamp? Not yet. Oh, okay. We will. No worry, hon, it's gonna come. He will use one of his hit dice. So, okay. Uh, well, plus, plus a con. So, 12. Oh, so I need to add another. I forgot. How did you guys uh, get get hurt so bad? I took a lot of. I don't have a high AC. And, and uh, Zin only used one hit point. He just got hit <laughs> once. <laughs> He's just used one hit dice. He's, he's currently got 13, so might as well use one. <laughs> yeah, I got... I have... My AC is only a 17. They were hitting pretty hard when they attacked, like, pretty high when they were attacking me. I get it. How uh, about a shield? Well, the, the thing is, I'm more... I'm supposed to be more of a ranged opponent, a uh, player, but that was just a confined area, so... Oh, I get it. <laughs> Size problems. Mm. It, was a little, it was a little restricted. Uh, so, and then, um, so the 10 minutes uh, has passed. Like, yeah, and like, once Zen's like, I feel really great and all that, then like, I kind of just like do a little magical flex and like, fuck that. My, at least my magic's at full again. And then it's like, all right. Time for us to all go out, and then I will will us all to leave. I mean, sure. And yeah, it's, it's been ten minutes, so we're good. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. So, will us all? To, I'll will us all to leave, and basically the exact reverse happens. Now, a little fiery spurt cyclone, like like inferno, comes out of the bottle and deposits us. The ground next to us, next to the bar. And so you see, the, what I've described before, a solid stone wall uh, with a uh, little kind of patio esque uh, area with a little bit of grass around with a path that's leading out through the hedges. Uh, looking down the path, you see the sundial and the uh, exit to the village. Boy, how did we arrive here? This is not where we left. Oh, I, I fell through one of the hedges, and uh, and uh, I just appeared here. We heard everything that was going on. We didn't see, though. <laughs> no, but I know Heathric said, like, in the, well, did you say what happened? Or did you just no. say you needed help? I just said help. He oh. just panicked. Okay. Um, as all my like, sister and boy are talking, I just reach down, grab my bottle, and put it on this little glass. And 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 when I arrived here, I, I heard somebody call from the balcony up, up above, and there was this guy, and he had a blue mask uh, that he was waving around. He said that he would be below the tower, and he waved around this 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 hourglass sort of thing. Things that he was attacked, uh, he fought the guy, and well, that body there, that would be the guy that uh, that showed up. That wasn't the guy who who showed the mask and everything. No, he he seems he he was he won and threw the guy off the balcony. I'm just gonna look. I'm just gonna look at the uh, the one on the ground and check his out. I'm gonna do a medicine check. He's dead. Dead as a doornail. Oh shit. 
He's yeah. dead. That's dead. That's uh, he, you, you see uh, some uh, lashes, scorch marks. Uh, it definitely uh, got hit by a couple of spells. Um, but what you could tell uh, that actually killed him was the fall. Whoops. About 100 feet up there. When you look up to the balcony. I forgot. Okay. Um, I get more health. That's Sorry. okay. Um, so, should we go? Uh, yeah. I think I think we have someone to save. Uh, one second before we do this, I'm just um, because he was he stayed in the. I had him like when he was we were in the bottle. Um, Ragnar was there. Um, so but he still is in. Like I didn't bring him with, but I would just go. Just quick whistle, have him come out, and I, I'm gonna send him up to the balcony. Because you said it's what sixty feet up. Yep. Feet up. Hundred feet. Up? Hundred feet up. Well, I can still communicate. I can still communicate with him and all. So at least just like float up into the air, like have him fly up to the air and look at the balcony, see what's going on. Not go any farther for now. But save you just in some way. Find the description. Uh, from what he can see, it looks like some sort of, uh, astronomy tower or room. There is a pair, looks like a pair of, well, let's see, hold on. There's a massive telescope with brass, uh, which looks like brass crystal and some polished mahogany. Rests on an intricate stand in the middle of the chamber. Whatever, okay, also just whatever you describe, uh, Squall is saying. Just yeah. So everyone can actually know. A ladder rests against one wall, an immense crystal lens is embedded in the ceiling. And you can just see that from the outside? Yep. To has no to let him go any further. All right. Have him come back to my side. Like, instantly back to my side. Should we be off? Okay. That's all that I saw out there. Um, Let's go. Yes. So you enter in the magic-looking circle? No, um, before... Dang, I should never mind. I should have done that while we we're in the bottle. Well, I could do it now, but I'll I'll wait. Do we do that? Well, uh, another quest. And we go. Oh, no, yeah, we go. Yes. Everybody take a took a piss. We can go. Good. Well, I was just gonna give a a, a little bit of a speech to help everyone out. Oh, I miss my good berry. Yes, we all miss good berries. I just I have inspiring leader, so I can give everyone eighteen temporary hit, hit points. You can do it while we walk. Well, it's only a couple feet into the the magic circle, so. Well, yes. Hopefully, we have ten minutes of respite. I don't know. <laughs> like while we wander around, I don't know. You can just try and it doesn't work. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. 
All right. So you enter into into the circle, and appear here. Yay. Wait, wait, wait where did somebody move? <laughs> I'm moving you. <laughs> um, I, I I didn't know you were gonna move us, so I hit clicked on my character. Move. Yeah, I'll get I'll get you to where you need to go whenever you need to disappear from one place and appear in another. <laughs> All right. So the walls of this chamber bear uh, exotic geometric designs uh, representing feathers, eagles, and snakes, all rendered in a style you've never seen before. To one side of the room, a human female is sprawled face down in a pool of blood. She is dressed like a high-ranking member of the Cult of the Dragon. Oh no. Um, can I go check? Or, give me a second. Hello, Alex? What? Oh, I think he's got a phone call. Oh. Wait, is your actual name Alex? No, Alex is his burden. But he responded. But he responded to that. That's all right. Never mind. Alex. Yes. Oh, no. Sorry. What about boyfriend? Yep. With addicts. Anyways, you, you responded it like it was your name. <laughs> My name is uh, uh, related, close, very it's close funny. to uh, Vice President. Okay. I will not name. We we will keep our regular names anonymous if if you so wish. Anyways, moving on. So you're 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 in a room with designs and uh, uh, a uh, dead thing. Let me give you a general idea of what you see here. So this is true for any room that we go to. Uh, the ceilings are about ten feet ten feet high. Uh, it is brightly lit. Uh, there are some narrow windows and some magic lamps. Uh, it's awfully quiet. Otherwise. Uh, for sound wise, uh, you do not see any sort of stairs. The only thing you see is uh, from where you came in, uh, you see some sort of teleportation type circle and a, a group of symbols on the wall. Behind the, the teleport circle is a metal panel inscribed with symbols. Yeah, I mean, she's, she's in a pile of blood, but yeah, she's there. Does she look dead, or, like, is there a point in checking if she's dead? Uh, yeah, she, she definitely looks dead. Okay. She's not moving, and there's a lot of blood. Is there any exits that we can see, or stairs? No stairs. on the table? Uh, nothing on the table. What? This might be more like some sort of meeting room or something. Uh, they don't seem to have anything in the shelves, or at least nothing of note. I know you might have, like, I zoned for a second. I am so sorry. Um, what are these? Uh, it doesn't really say any say exactly what those are. 
Uh, basins. Maybe it's a fountain or something. Uh, so there was something with like runes on it, like metal. With the walls of this chamber bear exotic geometric designs representing feathers, eagles, and snakes, all rendered in a style you've never seen before. To one side of the room, a human female is sprawled face down in a pool of blood. She is dressed dressed in a, as a high-ranking member of the Cult of the Dragon. All right. Uh, what does she look like? Uh, like flip her open over and look at her face. Uh, she just looks like a human. Okay. Search your body. Loot the body. Uh, I, I'll loot the body. <laughs> oh, I say that as, like, I, uh, squally do it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> loot the body? Um, she doesn't seem to really have anything on her. Do you, Let me go. Do you recognize the marking? Maybe. I'll I'll uh check them out. Roll investigation. Sure. To see if I recognize them. Well, nope. I have no idea what they like. They they are very nice carvings. That's nice to know. Um, can I start like investigating the walls or whatever? Sure. Rolling an investigation check. Hey. Find a room full of um, no, that's per pretty drawings, carvings. Squall's just going to come over to this chair and sit down. That's a um, nice little chair. It seems like you're uh, giving audience to the room. Boy. Yeah. Can you check downstairs or upstairs? Um, he looks around. Uh, how would I do that? Um, can you go? We're in, we're, we're in a closed room. Yeah, I know, but, like, can't you ghost walk? Well, I tried, like, doing that, like, to, to just walk into the tower earlier, and and I just, it, it wouldn't let me pass through. I'm assuming the entire, entire thing is magically enchanted to not allow that to happen. I mean, I could try it again, I suppose, but uh, I have a feeling that it won't really do anything. You want to try it again? I'll do it, and... We never know when we try, if we don't try. Well, I think hops into his ghost form. He's gonna take one of the flowers, and he's just gonna crush it and turn invisible while well, invisible. And translucent, he kind of floats up to the ceiling. And boom. Ow! How did that hurt when I'm in this form? I don't know. He floats back down to the ground. And I'm going to guess the ground is the same. I don't know. I told Mama, but she asked me to, so. Well, I... He stomps his foot on the ground. Sorry, Mom. Can't get through. Well, there's another way, I guess. And it's just... There's going to be Frederica hacking the ground. Starting to chip the ground. Okay. Uh, Romy and Tackle. Unarmored strike. Unarmed strike. Oh no, I'm not hamming with my fists. 
have a weapon for that. <laughs> okay. It's inspiration. Yeah. Cool. Why? Why did it send twice? I don't know. In any case, you hit the ground. Doesn't even seem to leave a mark. Um. Can I search the floor for a way of getting downstairs? Is there a downstairs? He said he'll meet us in the basement, right? The guy with the mask. Yeah. Yeah, and he wave. Yeah, he he said he would meet us in the basement. And he had like some sort of like hourglass sort of thing that he waves around, saying that was the key. I don't get, quite get it. Boy, uh, uh. Yeah, that's my name. Don't wear it out, bro. Bro, use your words. Um. Okay. Yeah, I'll just I'll just start looking on the floor for like the maybe maybe a secret. Passageway. Okay. Roll me an investigation uh, check. So they would have explained to us what the guy said, right? Yeah. Yeah. And that the hourglass was a key. Mm -hmm. Is there so, hourglass on the Sorry. So you you're searching around the room room trying to find like some sort of way. And you look at the place where you guys came in, and there's a circle with runes on the ground. And you find uh, underneath this, like, a, a, or just kind of like underneath a, a little ledge along this side, uh, this panel, which has uh, different designs on it. Uh, it looks like there's one which looks like a chair. There's one which looks like two chairs. Uh, there's one which kind of looks like an upside down L. Uh, you see uh, one of the squares has, or boxes has our, just has a rectangle in it. There's one that looks kind of like a flame. Uh, there's one that looks like a star. Um, one which has a square. So one of them is like a rectangle, so it's long. Um, well, square, all, all four sides equal. There's uh, one which looks like an hourglass. And there's one looks like a right triangle. So I'm going to go and search the body of the girl. If there is not like, like, what are you looking for? Because she's been searched before and they didn't find anything. Okay, I'm I'm looking for a um, a square, a rectangle, or some something that would match the pictograms on the walls. Yeah, you don't find anything. Okay, there ain't even roll. I touch the hourglass picture. Okay, touch it, and nothing seems to happen. That's my magical knowledge. <laughs> um, do you tell, like, mention oh, yeah. this? Uh, wall or boy or Zinalov. Um, I point to, let's see. Um, I feel the discrimination. I'm afraid of you, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was talking about, like, since you're saying that, the, yeah. Yeah, I point to you, and then I point to, excuse me, point to uh, the symbols and stuff. And I'll come and look at it and see what there is. And remembering that the where the guy that we're supposed to be person that we're supposed to be meeting, his area looks like a kind of like an observatory. Like in the, uh, what, what did you say it looked like again? Yeah, it looked like there was uh, uh, some sort of giant telescope. Okay. And I see a star. So I... He pressed one, nothing happened. So I'm going to um, do this, like, press the star, but try to channel a bit of magic into it. Okay, before you start channeling the... You, any magic into it, it uh, glows up and the teleportation circle that you ca came in changes color. Okay. And it, it looks like the, it, in the ruins, the star pattern appears. So I think, like, 
this yeah. is and I, okay okay well this works i i pressed the button maybe what you pressed was the one that we were on already you said you pressed the hourglass yeah makes okay. sense kind of yeah um maybe man, the... i pressed this i pressed the star because the area where we um boy and keith said the guy was that balcony it looked like an observatory, kind of like looking at the, they had a big telescope and stuff, and to look at the stars. And like it, it's, I know it's a bit of a, 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 a reach here, but it's the best I came up with. So maybe the square is like a basement ca um, uh, cells. Possibly, cells? and a star. No, these are these are basins. No, I mean, um, one of the pictograms, it's a square. Maybe a square for cells in the basement? I don't know, I don't know but I, I associated the star with observatory, like type astro astronomy. So okay. that's why I picked this, and it's the best I came up with. So... I, I think I think they probably have the right of it because he was waving around at like an hourglass thing. So I'm assuming that if we get whatever that hourglass thing is, we can use that as it's supposed to be a key. So maybe it's like a, like a lock. So you take the, the the device and maybe you put push it against the hourglass or something. Hourglass, hourglass. We can try, but I know Peter. I just touched the star. Keithrick touched the hourglass and nothing happened, and I just touched the star and it changed. So, but we can press another button or we can go through this portal. Press the button. Yeah. He's the button has been pressed. The basement, not in this, the, the observatory, right? Well, we we have to get to it, and if he said it was there was a key, yeah, he might have left it up there. Um, yeah, maybe. Okay, we maybe. should go to the observ observatory then. Maybe he threw the hourglass down with the body. Well, I searched the body, and there's nothing there. Oh, well. So just just so everybody can read it, this is what he says. This is what, what had happened. Oh, yeah, so we need to go and get the hourglass. So probably the star place? Yeah, that, that's my best guess. Just All from right. what I saw up there and what's here. Um, if you want, I can go first. We can all go at the same time, I don't mind. Okay. And I'll gather around and that's beautiful. Where's the teleportation circle? Well, what that Here. Where you came in. So you all hop into the teleportation circle. Yes. Okay, I need you to bunch up so that I can move you. Stop it! <laughs> move with you. You're not my dad. I am your <laughs> I am your dragon master, which means I am daddy. Hey. All right. I don't have daddy issues today. <laughs> you don't have daddy issues today. Hey. Right. Oh, look, an observatory room. All right. Yeah, so. right. The chamber is nearly the, is clearly the workspace of a wizard. A pair of uh, voluminous tomes as uh, astronomy and astrology lie upon a table, and just as Squall saw, a massive uh, telescope of brass, crystal, and polished mahogany rests on an intricate stand in the middle of the chamber. The ladder uh, rests against one wall, and a mess immense crystal lens is embedded in the ceiling. After, after seeing all this, like, Squall would just, like, pump his arm, just like, Booyah, got it right, bitches. <laughs> um, is there an hourglass? 
You haven't yeah, seen I'll one. Start, I'll start searching around the um, whole uh, room looking for this supposedly hourglass. Okay. Same. Investigation. Ooh, yeah, you, nice. you find books on you find books on astronomy and all sorts of uh, astrology and and all sorts of things. You you can easily look at them to re read read uh, something about an arrow, the bowls, a ewer, a uh, couple other things. Uh, there's some things about uh, some sort of divination involving the stars. It's a bunch of interesting things that uh, you know. This may maybe something that Cyrus might want. <laughs> Speaking of all the books. Okay. Uh, Roman Romeo D twenty. You find twelve books on astrology. Never write it down. Um, I got a twenty four on investigation. Basically the same thing. If anything, there isn't an hourglass in this room. Uh, is there an hourglass symbol on the floor? Nope. Like looking at the basin? Nope. Uh, on the wall, you find the pan a panel of the symbols. Can I touch the hourglass? You touch the hourglass and nothing happens. Let's go somewhere else. Let's go quick. Oh. Can I touch another symbol? Uh, touch all Squall, remember, you, you do remember that you could see in here from the balcony, and when you look towards where the balcony was, the door, there's a, the door's closed. Okay. Um, yeah, then I'm going to go. Um, yeah, there's a balcony, oh, right? I yeah, there's a balcony here, so I'm gonna, like, kind of just, like, gently open the door. Uh, roll me a stealth check. Because you're just trying to do the the quick little peek, right? Yeah. yeah. And see what's out there. Uh, 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 seven. <laughs> I need your roll for initiative. Yay! Oh, we get the initiative tracker up. May right on the right plane of existence. All right. I rolled the same thing as before, and boy rolled the same thing as before. Fix some backgrounds. All right. Oh, that's why. When you get a chance, I can just get a uh, put on the board. Oh yeah. Do do do. Add turn. Good thing I have this. To smash the crystal, that'll take an action, right? The sapphire? Yeah. Yeah, it's an action. Well, I'm asking, I'm, I'm asking Wind how he wants to play it. Uh, yeah, I believe it does. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah. The the magic item is when you use an action to break the gem. I understand how it is, but when might have a different one. Yeah, maybe said something else. Why was that? Yay. I mean, get people the idea of the thing. So, we got face to kill. So, yay for group initiative roll. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna go last. So, they okay. don't know what's going on, everyone doesn't know what's going on except me. Uh, right. are these tiles of uh. 20 feet? Uh, 20 feet, 10 feet, or 5 feet? It is the same as every every other map that's been on here. So they are 5 feet, but it's going to still say say 20 feet. <laughs> so, boy is going to go there. Well, quick, quick, quick question, though. Did the door swing all the way open, or do, does they not... So, so, yeah, yeah, go put him back. All right, so here's here's the current situation. Is Squalls open up the door? It's given a really loud sw squeak, and he immediately sees a mage uh, starting to cast a spell in his direction. So all boy knows is that Squall is looking through the doorway, uh, uh, which made a really loud squeak. Uh, Squall, I'll allow you to say something. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh-oh. And what do you do? Let, let's do this, just because of the way way things are working. We'll just start with Squall. Sure. So I see him casting a spell. Yeah, he, it looks like he's starting to cast a spell. All right, so um, I'm going to swing open the door, like, wide, so everyone else can see, and then... Uh, I'm going to use Thunderclap to try to stop whatever the fuck he's doing. All right. So I need the... a constitution saving throw. All right. DC 20. Uh, he did not, it did not make it. What happens? Well, okay, so... Oh, wait. I'm right there. I actually, no, I can't do that to him, because it's five feet. Oh, okay. We would have so, to get closer uh, to do um, it. So, I'll, actually, I'll do three bolts of Elder's Blast. Okay. Winning down Elder's Blast, right? At the, yep. Elder's Blast. So, first one. I'm on copy. Sixteen. Sixteen. Uh, will hit. So eleven force five fire. Okay. So that's definitely going to hit because that's a twenty-nine. Yeah, I'll hit. That's eleven force. Okay. Yeah, that's thirty. So twenty-five. And I'll hit. And fourteen. Fourteen. So you open the door and go. Oh boy, see him starting to cast his spell and you shoot out three Eldritch Blasts and just knock him against the, the back and uh, he is gone. He is dead. Oh yeah, bitches. Elder Anything else? For the win. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and let's see. You did 40, uh, 41 points of damage during that entire that round. I'm gonna well, move back here. I, I, well, I'm not DM, but didn't like the movement opening the door in action was your turn? Uh, it's an object interaction. 
Yeah, but like, did he did he move there, open the door, and at, and attacked? Well, I moved here. No, he moved here. He opened the door, saw that there was starting to to cast something. Since he was the only one who knew it, it knew it or anything, I considered that he would. You could almost consider it like a surprise round, almost. Um, and uh, he got a chance to throw up in the door. So then that's when initiative starts, which means right. he gets his full full turn. So he threw up in the door, object interaction, uh, Eldritch Blast move. So I get it. That's how it goes. Um, Mechanically speaking. All right. Uh, boy's turn. Boy's like, yes. Boy saw... That uh, squall, yeah, squall, squall was like, like ah, threw open the door, sent out three elders blast and, and come running out. So, so boy's gonna be like, yay, trouble! Stop it, mid boy. Stabby things. <laughs> yes, and he's going to attack this one. Okay. Once. Does it? Okay, that'll that'll hit. Yeah. I'll definitely hit. So, no sneak attack, sadly. Oh, okay. 12 of damage. Oh, that's good. <laughs> he at least survives for a round. <laughs> maybe. Like maybe. And 11. And 11. Not looking so hot. There you go. I'm gonna... All right. Anything else? Nope. That's his full movement. Okay, cool. Catherick. Well, he went charging in and started stabbing at someone. Is this huge? Is this telescope right here? And is it like huge or whatever? Yeah, you can yep. see boy, boy parkour. Cool. Um, he called it parkour. Yeah, like if you positioned yourself like over here. You could probably get an angle through because the uh, telescope would have, would be high enough that you could shoot underneath it. Yeah, that's that's what I was wondering. Um, yeah. Five, seven, eight, six. Oh, excuse me. Uh, twenty. That good? Yep. All right, I'll call it good. Okay. And I will attack. Well, this one, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, sadly, boy is not close enough. No, that, that's he's not. He's talking about steady aim, not sneak attack. Yeah, but he's he's still not close enough for the sneak attack. Mm. Yeah, sadly. well, steady steady aim would give him advantage, but he yeah. moves, so he's... Yeah. yeah. Uh, Which the advantage would give him sneak attack, anyways. Yeah. But, so. Piercing, deleted. <laughs> Fourteen piercing, three lightning. As a bonus, I'm going to say, because that fanatic would not have been able to see you beforehand, this is kind of like popping out from hiding. So I'm going to give you the sneak attack. Cool. So you you kind of like pop out underneath it and, and shoot your arrow right underneath it and uh, hit him right in the head. Ooh, he's gone. Uh, I might have to just X this guy out instead, so... I don't want to remove turns. Anything else? Um, bonus action? Mm -hmm. You could, like, if you can ship, shift uh, five feet. Actually, you could probably just hide from there. I'd, I'd count that as a place that would be hide eligible. Otherwise, you could shift five feet to get a better hiding position. Uh... If you have the movement, that is. Okay, so roll me a stealth check. I forgot about that part. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so, um, it has an A. Do I have advantage on stealth bonus? Why do I have advantage on stealth bonus? Uh, is there a scout ability? No, the, the key. Oh. oh. Yeah. 
That's uh, only for um, being quiet. So, in any case, you're fine. You're you're sure that anybody in there would not know where you are right now. I mean, you kind of get extra stuff because there's walls and everything just have the doorways to see through, but. That's my turn. Cool. It's Fanatic's turn. There's a ghost in their presence. That's right. There's a. But then again, he's going to have no disadvantages since he, they're flanking. We're just going to be neutral. Yeah, we'll just do that. All right. So one room makes a couple of dagger attacks. Uh, 17 hit boy. Nope. Uh, and I'm assuming 13 doesn't. Uh, but two more coming from the other one. Uh, ooh. Oh, so sad. Uh, does it 18 hit? Yeah, but they have they have regular. Oh yeah, because of the thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. Those super none of them. Like, they. Like, <laughs> it's like trying to hit a ghost. <laughs> oh wait a minute. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Send her off. Looks through the door. Goes. <sighs> Mid forces went to make a deck saving throw. Uh, he makes it. Yeah, and then he goes, hit. Uh, I am going to save my spells. Who's next? <laughs> Oof. And, um, boy. We do it together. Yeah. He just kind of like attack against the bottom one. Yeah. Why did I roll in it? That's. I didn't roll in it. Hold on, hold on. Just, just wait a second. When I said do one attack, I'm not kidding. Uh, uh, let's see. That definitely hits. Um, oh yeah. Uh, so your attack on the one Obliterate. kills it. They're wearing um, they're wearing uh, cult of the dragons stuff, right? Yeah. Okay. So Bob just goes to attack the like the corpse on the ground. And he's like, You're like ah. Oh. <laughs> Mama, you stop it. <laughs> it! With his back turned to the other one, of course, in his ghostly form, he turns to you and goes, you guys are kind of weak. Yeah. <laughs> Squall. Oh, the other one is dead. That was the first attack. <laughs> oh, yeah. They yeah they got, they got the... the fight is done. Yeah, he says you're kind of they're they're kind of weak, and you swing around and chop off the head of the other one. Yeah, they are. Lemon could so, have done it solo. So uh, I see that all of them are dead. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna come up over to here because this is where that one that I was casting a spell that. Yep. Was, um, I'm gonna loot him because he lo he was different than everyone else. You know what? I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna try something. You can do the looting, it's okay, Squall. We don't blame you for being the loot man, sir. Well, I did kill this one, so. By right, this body is mine. <laughs> I 
Ragnar is just sitting on my shoulder right now. Uh, roll me a d10. Two. Two. You find on him uh, 230 silver pieces and uh, 120 gold pieces and a hourglass looking thing. Yeah. Uh, give me a moment. Oh. I have it on here. Um. So, uh, for, uh, Jordan, um, from two yeah. sessions ago, add 941 gold pieces and six silver pieces. Did I have forgotten yeah. that? Well, it was the one session where you were drunk. You left a little early before we got to um, distributing the loot. You had left. Yeah. How much? So, 941 gold pieces and six silver pieces. Six silver pieces. That's going to round up my 70. Yay. And 941, you said. Yes. All right. So then that was how much? Uh, what was the currency for this? Uh, what I just got? I apologize. Uh, hold um, something silver. Just, just, let, just let him. Uh, <laughs> it was oh shoot i switched away from it <laughs> yeah i think it was like uh, 200 something okay. and 100 gold um 100 i i'm, I'm now going to change change the amount because i didn't copy the paste of the other one so i'm going to just copy and paste it now so i did another re-roll of it but we're going to do something similar, 100 gold pieces and 250 silver pieces. All right, I throw that into the bag of holding, and then I hold up the hourglass. I think this is what you're looking for. Boy, uh, is that it? Uh, it looks like it. Well. All right, so place. then... Uh, he He's actually looking back from uh, looting the others. He grabs... Uh, six pair of daggers, yeah. and uh, you see him pocket uh about sixty gold, uh copper pieces. Anyone wants daggers? I'm fine. Wait, I'm keeping these. Like I said, like I was gonna say, those are yours, boy. <laughs> All right, so then I'll go go ahead. And come, I'm just come up to the panel, mm -hmm. and seeing Zen up there, I'd be like, uh, Zen, I think you might want to step down. Let's say, uh, let's say we the ten minutes for the last uh, uh, ghost walk, like pass. yeah, that's probably faded by now. Yeah, as as you're doing the leading, take some time. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead, um, and. Set past the hourglass to a figure to the one on the panel. All right. So you touch the hourglass looking thing uh, to the hourglass icon and it glows and an hourglass uh, appears on the floor and starts spinning. It, it, well, it, hourglass like, like runes light up and start spinning. Well, yeah. I think that's where it's supposed to go. Let's, everyone ready? Yeah. Yep. Uh, right before we go in, I'm just going to go ahead, because I'm not sure what we're going to expect. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cast Armor of Agathus. Always. Always. On myself. I'm going to ready an arrow for, uh, for an attack. If something's in front of me and it has a uh uh Colt hoodie on not hoodie well, but cloak, I'm shooting. Wait. Oh, never mind, because the other guy might yeah. have his hoodie on too. I was like, I'm trying not to meta I'm trying not to metagame here, but I'm like, uh, wait, wait <laughs> Just think about that for a moment. Just think. 
He's there. He shoots it in the eye. Crit. I All right. All right. Getting about the defector. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, everyone else ready? Yeah. All right. We All right. Do you all step into the teleporter? <laughs> and meanwhile, over in the eyes of Io, you know what? I think you'll do great. Welcome to to the eyes of Io, Gemna, Gemma, and uh, the the black dragonborn child uh, reaches out her hand and shakes uh, Gemma's hands. Um, thank you, young lady. I hope to work with you very. You for a long time. Or we do have to figure out a way to transport between the two worlds. Maybe if we can make some sort of like permanent portal here or something. Well, I'm not sure about that. Maybe that's something we can construct together. I would love that, honey. Can I move fast? Ooh. Ew, straight love. <laughs> that was a normality. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Uh, 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 Layden, uh, finds, uh, uh, Kriv. Where's, where's Kriv right now? This is probably, probably a, in the evening hours. Like, it, like it just gone to dusk. Probably still spawn, like, he's, like, he hasn't had much time being this barbarian and understanding everything. So he's, uh, still just going to be... Um, practice and stuff, and uh, and all. Probably just for a little bit longer before he goes and um spends time with Phoebus. Okay. Um, while you're doing your sparring, you see Layden says, "says that's pops pops isn't down here. Uh, well, he's probably taking another nap, isn't he? Yeah, I haven't seen him in a little bit. All right." Wait, yeah. No, I I haven't seen him. Like getting old. Yeah, work. Yeah, by by the way, uh, work probably is volunteered to to spar with you, the your fellow barbarian. Uh, the the barbarian of the eyes of Io. Yeah. So. So, Rokros. Yeah, I th think I saw him go up uh to the room their room and uh. About like just past lunch. I haven't seen him since. What is this? Okay, I'll go check on him. And uh, uh, uh he heads off. Fuck off, skull. Skull. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, it's good to good to see that uh, we'll have a good barbarian here at the Eyes of Iowa on Toro. Anytime that we get a chance to get get together, I'd love to spar with you. Always. And I'm starting to really like this model. And I just I, I pull it out from my back and kind of just like swap it between hands and try and just get a good feel of it. Well, you do know that's one of the artifacts, right? Then I have to give it back. Doesn't mean I can't get one like it. Have one made. Oh, Layden's been pretty smart. Hey. You might be able to work with uh, uh, Court to, to get that made up. Uh, Court will not be here for much longer, uh, sadly. Although he actually may because he's working with Gemma. Gemma is uh, uh, going to be our new artificer here at the Eyes of Ohio of Toro. And you see, see walking up this uh, little dragonborn girl, girl who has a satchel and a book at her side. And she, for some strange reason, is wearing glasses. I mean, why, why do you have glasses? It, it may, makes me look smart. Your brain makes you smart. You don't need the glasses. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, I know, if but that's what you want. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not yeah, gonna, but the, uh, the 
the scholars at, at, at Candle Keep uh, have them, and and I I just thought they looked kind of cool because I just want to look because I'm I'm kind of bookish, which which to me is okay. I mean, it's no problem or anything. Uh, uh, I don't think it's anything. So I, I want to kind of look like if somebody needs needs something or needs to know any mathematical solution or any sort of scholarly endeavor, you've got me. And she pushes up her glasses. Or snout. Of course we do, and I didn't mean anything negative by it. I'm just saying that you don't need them. Oh no, I. But they look. They do look nice on you. I'm not. I'm not saying that, but and you just like, Kurt just starts like stammer, stammering and stuff. Like I, I'm, I'm gonna. Go, I should go meet this Gemma if we're gonna be working together and all. And then she just. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure she would like you. Yeah. Although, although for some reason she's, uh, uh. Uh, Court and Gemna ended up going to 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 Court's room, and he told Lifter to to don't let anybody in for some reason. So I I I, I think they might want to be left alone. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Okay. Then I guess I'll go talk to Layden and see if, uh, what if Crevis is doing all right. Because I, 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 yeah, I kind of want a mall now. I like that mall. Oh, you you want to have like that, but like, like not that, that like, because you can't be that. Yeah, okay, exactly. uh, hold on. Let me write that down. She, she opens up her, her book and she starts writing, and then she kind of like thinks, but the quill keeps moving. And she she grabs the quill again and continues writing something. What a flex! <laughs> or the scribe's wizard. What do you expect? That's a weird flex. Maybe, maybe if I can get like, like oh, maybe I can make it look. I like how this looks. It's, it's nice. I'm not saying anything about that, but mm, maybe I can get it looks a little more to my style. So as it, as you're going up the stairs, uh, uh, Leiden's actually coming to say, oh, "Oh, hi, Dad." Um, Pops is uh, Pops is still sleeping. Um, yeah. I have a question for you, Wind. We're, we're in the middle of a role play. Hold on. Sorry, I got kind of space. I stopped. Uh, you can go ahead. If you want. Ha! Oh. What, what did, you, did you have? A, what was your question? Gemma. Yeah? Isn't, isn't that the gnome that we encountered in um, no. the Dragon Heist? No. Okay. Uh, that was Gem or Jamna. J A M N A. This is Gemma. J E M M A. Okay, I have the right to be confused because I think both. Were Don't worry, I I thought about that, but I had already said Jenna before or Jenna uh, before, and I'm just sticking to it. That was similar, but I, was like, I think we have recognized her. Nope. But no, if it's not the same. Well, person, I also I haven't I also haven't seen her, so Kriv hasn't seen her, so. Mm. But, um, so I was like, okay, well, uh, he sees me, I was like, oh, he's just like, okay, uh, uh, he, he, I know this, a lot of this takes a toll on him, I don't want to know, the hammer's helping him out a bit, but still, like, spirit-wise, but body-wise, it's not doing anything, maybe we can do something about that and all, but, but since I have you here, I, mm -hmm. I have a project for you. Sure. My. Well Mithy, and we can do this together and all. It's a great bond. Mm -hmm. So, pull out the pyre mall. I was like, okay, so I'm starting to really like this now. Mm -hmm. And I know I can't keep this and all, and because it's one of the artifacts that at one point has to go back and all, but I thought together, you and me can make a similar one. But the R style. Yeah, I could see that. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'll probably have to make some sketches. Uh, the enchantment might be able to do something awfully similar. It would take a while. Don't don't get me wrong, uh, we, uh, Dad. But uh, oh oh yeah yeah we totally got time to, to work it on. And um, I'm sure Gemini will. Gemma will be able to to assist us if she she's hired on. 
Actually, she'll probably be hired on. It's really quartz purview, but for some reason, uh, Lemon is doing this whole like interview thing, and she's basically trying to become the secretary or something. I don't know. Uh, she's she's trying to be useful. She's trying yeah. to be useful. I was talking to. Yeah. Yeah, I was talking about to Firian about a, a possible uh, wizards uh, to to join us um, if Lemon sticks around. She, she might, we might be able to to just have her. But if she's 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 good. She's growing. Uh, from my understanding, uh, she's been taking lessons both at Candlekeep and from uh, Firian. But she's not much of a of a, of a battle mage. So, anyways, that's besides the point. Um, yeah. But we'll we'll have a, a permanent artificer soon here. Uh, court's yeah. great. Don't get me wrong. Um, we'll probably have to get some good materials. I have some ideas that might work. Um, I really think because this is very red. I don't think this is really your style. Oh, that that's what I'm saying. We, we make it to our style. Yeah. Because cool. look at me now. I think I might have connections uh, for getting some materials that would do this. Um, you know, I we traveled the place for for years, right? Yes. Okay, so well, you told me this, yes. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we do have some methods, uh, although I don't really know how to uh, plane shift, and I'm not sure if Pops is up to it anymore right now. Um, uh, but uh, if we can work on the figure out the whole plane shift thing, I did meet some gem dragons that might be able to help out. They were great smithies, and if we can find um, uh, some some either, you know what? Maybe no, that won't necessarily work. We'll we'll we'll, we'll workshop it. Um, yeah. but uh, it, it, it should be fine, and you'll end up going to have this like long conversation with Clayton. He probably takes you down into. Yeah. He actually uh, takes you down into the the actual smithy area. Um, you hear some, yeah, yeah you, yeah, you do hear some noises off uh, on the other side of the building. Um, it's very faint, but you, there's some noise, something going on in the summertime, time, uh, coming from court's room. Um, and, uh, you discuss and start, uh, laying out some, some plans and he's, Layden's really thinking about these, these ingredients and what would take to recreate an almost pyre mall, um, but more along your lines. And that's where we're going to leave the session for the, for tonight. I think I think a, a, a nice little cliffhanger of what's in the next <laughs> next place is perfect for a session. Yeah, how, how long was Crevis and a thousand years? Okay, Crevis and Layden. Layden's now an ancient. A uh, uh, black and gold dragon. Isn't Crevis a dragonborn? Mm hmm. What's keeping him alive? That hammer of his? Oh. The Will of Io. Okay. Well, the, the weapon is referred to as Io's Will, so. That's the theory. Now, now, uh, uh, Leon, the, the the leader of the eyes, the original eyes of Io, is a lot younger than Crevis. <laughs> I wonder why. All right, so that's it for tonight. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, going. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, it was, it was amazing experience. <laughs> wow, <laughs> the puns. No, but I mean. Not gonna say anything, but one cubby boy is not there, mm -hmm. and normally he's the one who's gonna be tired since he had a huge ass day. If you want, this can. is yeah. The this is also partly my way of putting a cliffhanger on it, and we are yeah. close to to normal ending time anyway. So yeah, I do time management. <laughs> <laughs> I can sense some shade over there. Where's the shade fans? 
Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Can I get off the stream? <laughs>